Fish. Let's see if we want to uh, try scrying on somewhere that you can see. That's better that stream has your uh, mic, by the way. Thank fuck. Get to tone my voice back now. So then what's the limit on the questions, then? Uh, well, I suppose we can really ask him whatever we want, but from what I understand, he only has to answer truthfully, uh, and it the, the answers won't be long, and he could make them rather cryptic, so... They won't be long? Like... He has a specific limit on his own four stances. We can probably get like a, a sentence or two at best. Okay, okay. Um. Well, I mean, I guess for starters, I mean, we could ask something like, "Is Iron Stride's father still alive?" I mean, that's probably a pertinent one. But he might not even know that. I mean. Hmm. <laughs> All right. yeah i mean honestly i guess we could ask a series of questions relating to entry into the chamber we could ask about the status of his father we could ask about the progress of the sultanate's research judging by what we saw they've definitely finished it already Well, you know, this is, uh, this is very much, you know, up Iron Stride Daly, as it were. Iron Stride, do you have any input? Primarily any entrances into the castle with best secret, of course. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, that would work. Like, uh, say, like, to describe, um... Describe any secret entrances to the castle that allow easy access to the room with uh, cardinal directions included or something like that. Okay, how do I phrase that as a question? Um, what is the most unexpected... Hmm. Saying it like that would imply that the front door would actually be pretty unexpected. Uh, which... What uh, route would allow us access to the room in which the fountain containing the secret chamber is held with drawing the least attention? <laughs> How do I open the chamber of secrets? <laughs> Teach me parcel tongue. <laughs> Harvey Dent, can we trust him? You are a bitch. Who is Spider Man? This is getting <laughs> Superman. Bring me pictures of Spider Man? <laughs> well, I mean, come on, I'm trying to suggest options here. I don't really know. Oh, I'm not good at this at all. I'm that's why I'm sitting here listening. I guess we're gonna open the easy opening is describe secret entrances to the castle. That's probably a good opener. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. but um has the question uh, where where are the secret entrances to the castle located? Yeah, you might want to spe specify the sultanate of this place of, you know, the Mirage City's castle, because if you don't, he might give you some other castle. Where are the secret entrances to the sultanate of Mirage City's castle located? Yeah, I mean, I think that would work. Uh, 
Maybe the Sultanate's castle in Mirage City. Yeah, prob probably. Probably. Yeah, I'd be. In case he has, a, in case he has another one. <laughs> What's your credit card number? <laughs> And the three wacky digits on the back. <laughs> What's your dragon name? <laughs> the, the, the cryptic <laughs> comes from, uh, he, he says, in no particular order. <laughs> and then lifts off all the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I mean, that's not all that bad. I mean, theoretically, you could guess it right eventually. About a million years. One day. <laughs> it's only like a 12 digit long number. Yeah, I mean, you know, but hey. <laughs> well, is the building actually called the castle, Josh? It is the Sultanate Palace. Okay, the palace. The yeah, secret entrance no to the Sultanate's palace, then. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's better, yeah. Okay, so we're settled on that being our first question. Oh, uh, I mean, unless you have a better one. Right. Victor, where are the secret entrances to the Sultanate's Palace located? <clears throat> and you can has to answer truthfully, but he can also be cryptic. Uh, hang on. Oh, I can't just copy-paste that shit, that's annoying. Let me fucking open it in edit mode. D -d -d there we go. <laughs> It has to be truthful, but it can yank your chain. Alright, so... It has to be truthful, and... Uh, answered to the best of its ability. Well, it will tell you the secret entrance that it knows is... The Della Porters in the research facility. He, he said the teleporters in the research facility. Which I worry are those ones that exploded. <laughs> they probably are the ones that exploded. Astute observation. Scratching them was probably not a good idea. Yeah, I still can't believe you witnessed those being exploded, so. Yeah, fine job disarming that with a hand axe and all. I thought it would him. work. It was a good hand axe. <sighs> It'll be sore when you missed. A better one. A flying one. I don't use it anyway. I get so, I mean, lost so on the way. Get, so we get six questions, right? Well, five now. Well, yeah. So, he's, that, that was all he said was that it was the teleporters? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's not figures. Could you ask now that he's revealed teleporters if there's another way? Are there any secret passphrases? Oh, oh, oh! You know, you know how the, you do the little teleporter thing, like you wrote the sigils on the ground when we teleported to your home city. Does he like? Does, do they work like that? Uh, given that those seem to be standard teleport circles, I would assume so. The so glyphs at that the that research that? facility. Uh, well, either it'll be difficult to figure out, but what should we ask him for the glyphs? I mean, if he can describe them to you verbally, if you think that would work, I mean, think of how easy of a way in that would be. But how short the ants, his response could be. And only spoke. Well, I mean. If this is all we need out of him, you could just ask him to describe each one in sequence if there's only, like, a maximum of four. Like, where's the position of the first sigil on the circle? 
And what is the first sigil included in that question? It's an idea, sure. I have a better one. Alright. Uh, this may consume two of our uses, however. <laughs> Just putting that I'm... out there. I mean, you're the only one that... We didn't have this option until you got it, so if you think it's a good idea, I think you should go for it. Alright. Let me just think about the wording for a second to make sure I get this right. I actually have no idea what a Tootsie Pop is. I assume it's a lollipop. Googling it. a thing it. in the middle. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. it's like a Chubba Chub. Mm -hmm. Probably exactly Whatever the same that thing is. just renamed. Yeah. It's a Tootsie Roll. It's basically a hard piece of candy that's kind of chewy. It tastes faintly of chocolate, but honestly tastes like something kind of different. Yeah. It's a different oh. taste. <clears throat> Why would like you the that that sweet chocolate jelly babies. Tootsie! Tootsie! Oh, Chico! Help me out with this, okay? My plan uh -huh. is to ask him. Uh, I need to confirm the location of the teleport circles. Because if I do that, I can use him to see anywhere he's been. If he has, if I can confirm that he has been to where these circles lead, I can look into the room and read the glyphs straight off the ground. Smart idea. Or the yeah. walls or whatever the glyphs are placed on. Nang. I need to figure out how to confirm he's been in this room. Well, if he knows the teleportation circles go to the, the castle, wouldn't he know where they exit at? It's implying he's used them. Probably. Well, sure. We can all, we can try skipping a question and going uh, and attempting to look straight in. But then I, I I would need to be able to. I I need to be able to name the destination. Yeah, understandable. I mean. C consider, consider what he was trusted with. I think he was probably allowed in the other room, too. I'm, I'm certain, but I... I don't know how to... I don't know what to call it to make sure I get the destination correct. Well, if you have to know the name of it, why don't you just ask him what the name of the destination room is, or like to describe it to you? That also requires, I think, correct ways to phrase questions, then, which is just a different problem. Uh... But knew the way into the place as it would be. Would he not already know the glyphs then and what you need? What? <laughs> just. Fuck everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. I'm, I mean, I'm uh, sure jump he into the glyphs, fat lane. It, it's <laughs> difficult to ask him for the glyphs directly. 
There's well, a good okay. We won't get. The, we won't be able to get it right just based off of a one or two sentence description. It's not like he can just. It, it, it's not like I see an image of them. He just tells me. Well, what was the one that on this scrying thing you were talking about? You said it's anywhere he's been in life. Why don't you just tell him to show you the room that the teleportation circle exit out to within the Sultanate's palace? Alright. Let's try that then. Um... Uh, Victor, show me the teleportation room in the Sultanate's Palace that was connected to the research lab. As you see them, illuminate for a moment, you see there is a main long hall stairs on the right, a doorway on the left. Multiple. I'll start describing this to everyone as well, and also add, uh, someone bring me an ink and some paper so I can draw the glyphs. Multiple rows and columns going down the length of this entire hall. As you kind of look at this single long straight hallway, you can see it between the stairs and the other halls that this place is clearly splits off into multiple locations. There are no windows to speak of whatsoever. It is all completely blocked off, but you also don't see any people. But you see what looks like multiple groups and wards around the entirety, entirety of this hall. Okay, um, has, has someone given me, uh, some ink and paper yet? I run back upstairs and shove some ink and paper into your hands. Okay, I just put the paper down, like, filling it out with one hand. Dip my finger in the ink and, uh, using, uh, I'll try to determine, I mean, I know teleport circles, I, I feel I should be able to figure out which is the circle and just copy down the glyphs from that onto the paper. For that, it would be extraordinarily easy for you to discern that, as you okay. are able to write that down quickly. And the wards look similar to the ones at the research lab? They look to be magic dampeners and anti-scries, basically multiple wards to prevent people from teleporting in on their own volition without the access of these uh, teleportation circle and also multiple anti-scrying wards so nobody would be able to discover that this place exists outside of knowing it or being able to actually physically access it right well the security sucks well the reason we're able to see is we're using a dead guy to fucking scry on it from his memories <laughs> yeah they should have thought of that well Look, I hate to, I hate to be hate that to person. <laughs> be that person, but I, I will say this is literally scrying. Uh, like it looks on a location. Instantly in, forget everything. It, uh, it, it functions in a similar manner. It creates an invisible sensor that allows me to look in on a place like scrying. Unlike scrying, the sensor is literally uh, an image of the tortured humanoid. Oh, that's comforting. But uh, yeah, then you would not yeah, be I... able to get the, the teleportation circle. Rest it in pieces. Sad. You start scrying and you hit a firewall. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's not much that you got there other than a long hallway. I mean, we had the glyphs. You did. 
But then you <laughs> told me what the spell does. And you're blocked. On Facebook. Damn. Adding one slight thing in hope. Does it block divination specifically? It's blocking all forms of scrying. Because divina- this is still technically necromancy. <laughs> technically. All forms of scrying. Uh, doesn't say the word scry. Yes, but it says forms. It just functions like the spell. Damn it. <laughs> Reality's undoing itself at a strange rate. <gasps> so, clearly, it attempts to try to blood. I, uh, I can't be bothered even trying to determine. If I can't actually use the the feature, like, because Soul Cage lets me do four different things with the soul, and each one of those consumes each one of my six uses. If I can't do a thing, does it still consume? Yes, because that confirms that it is worded in something blocks you. Alright, well... The destination appears to be boarded, which is frustrating. But you were just writing something earlier. It's strange. The paper's blank now. What's on it? finger just came down and just went... Hold on. Who's Rim? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know either. And my wisdom was so high, I wouldn't have been able to remember. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Even this ink and paper is gone because I never saw anything. Yeah. There was no what, need to request. What was I asking for? I don't know. Uh, all right. So we're down to four. Down to four. Well, you try just ask him for the... If you think he's been in the room but you can't see it, why don't you just ask him for the sigils? But I guess he... Could you ask him to describe the circle in detail? Yeah, but if he's limited to like one to two sentences, I don't really think he can get out enough detail. Because, I mean... I can't get enough assume... detail. That's the problem. I mean, our... Out of curiosity, are the sigils like universal or is it like custom choices by the person who makes it? Like, is there one that looks like an arrow that you always use? Josh? Arcane glyphs on magic circles? Uh, they would be universal because there's a well known spell prominently spread throughout the world. There you go. Ask him to describe each one. Like, just say which one each one is and then the cardinal directions of it. All right. Um, How many are there? You could split them in half. Like if there's four on a circle, you could ask him for the first two, then the next two. I don't believe there's really a limit on how many glyphs you can have. I'll ask Google how long a sentence can be. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> 20 or 30 words. Yeah, that doesn't really leave much space if there's like 8 sigils. Well, but I mean, if it's like, if they're universal characters, it would be like the sigil starting from north and then going to the east around. With okay, okay, Victor. Regarding the teleport circles in the Sultanate's palace that were connected to the research lab, what are in order the magical runes? And the sequence. So, as you ask for the sequence of the magical ones, uh, 
You will actually start describing them. Alright, and that, I'm going to start writing down. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the pen and paper is back. The plot hole, it's been fixed. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing, is that uh, I'm not scrying, so it isn't consuming my senses, so I can actually just pull out the ink I always carry. <laughs> So you finally got it. The secrets, the code. Do you go straight in? Exhausted, tired, worn out? Well, I don't think I can even cast a spell at the moment. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. I figure as much. We're, we're gonna, gonna need a rest before I can, before I can even cast that spell. Can we ask him more questions, like about security? And, you know, the wards in the teleportation room? That's probably the other one. I don't want to blow up again. We might not survive this time. Well, uh, yeah, sure. If you have a particular question, tell me and I'll ask. Um, what manner of defensive wards are located in the teleportation room that contains the circle connected from the research facility to the Sultanate's palace? You mind putting that in writing? Because Jesus Christ, that was fast. <laughs> okay. Interesting ah. question. Uh, counterpoint. It was already warded from scrying. There's probably some type of security. Well, I mean, having it described to us doesn't hurt. <laughs> no. Okay, better idea. Uh, we can assume that there's already security because there's at least security stopping me from just looking in. We could ask how to bypass it. Better idea, yeah. Uh, just, just and that. if there's no real answer to that, we can just assume there's no security. Yeah. Go with that instead. Probably better. <laughs> I like how instead of starting the session, we've just been playing 20Q with a soul. Okay. Well, that's how you do, right? Number four. Victor. How do we bypass the security in the teleport rooms in the Sultanate's palace? Bypass. <clears throat> you would need my medallion. Oh, I'll that. Mm -hmm. All right, but. Uh, he says we need the medallion. Do we still have that bug thing? Uh, yes. Perfect. Okay, two questions left. <sighs> and counting. Ironstride, do you want to ask anything about your father, perhaps? Is he still alive? Okay, can I have his name? Full name. It'll make this a lot easier. Is Iron Stride's dad still a Daddy? <laughs> Please don't. Um I'm and sorry. perhaps alive should not is the wrong question. If he's like you, they may say no. But he's a life. We are by technicality alive, though. By technicality, sure. The spirit may not see you as alive. You are metal Is he given in one mind. piece and functioning. Yeah, functioning. Okay, can you just write it down for me? The soul's like, come on, man, I won't. I want to go to my eternal rest now. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up. So, uh, 
that question? He has always been functioning. I am the one in peace. Alright. One question left. Anyone have any ideas, or should we just ask where Adel is? That, do that. I mean, yeah, directions from the uh, teleportation room to where Adel is might make it a lot faster, and we could probably dip in and out really quick. Unless Iron Stride's mother has any other ideas or things we should know. Merlith? Anything we're do you missing? Have any ideas? Or things we should know. <laughs> I have not been able to locate him, which was the goal of my last investigation. Well, I mean, my scrying in any other forms of divination have never produced anything. I worry that they don't keep him on his place. So. That, that's actually a very fair question. Where are they keeping him? Yeah, mm. but that's why my question was, where is he? But perhaps, how do we get to him? Yeah, now that. Now that's, that's actually a pretty good Rather point. Rather than direction, but... simply, how do we get to him? It's good. I like it. If it All is right. anything like Mother, then my special security. In which case, how would we free him? Don't give him ideas, Teller. <laughs> I have high wisdom. I can't help it. <laughs> now I don't want to ask him that. <laughs> Fine, where? Where will do. If he's in the Sultanus Palace, we'll have to look. If he's somewhere else, we'll just... We'll Tear improvise. down every everything bit brick by brick until we find him. And I don't rely on scrying, so if he is there, I'll be able to find him. Victor, where is Adel Kronstein? In the deadly plain of battle. In the blood fountain. What? <laughs> so, hey, that being the final one. Okay, just release it. What, what the uh, fuck did you just say? Send it. What is that well it sounds like we have a very distant destination once we're done here uh explain for those who don't understand please a demiplane is uh, this is difficult. We're on the material plane at the moment. Mm. Uh, the most common form of travel tends to take... Uh, planar travel tends to jump people into the ethereal plane, which pretty much exists in the same space here as us, but... Uh, it's completely invisible to ah. us. We can't touch. We can't touch or interact with anything from this side. And on the other side, you can generally see a short distance, but everything is sort of foggy because a 
A demiplane is like our bags of holding or the portable hold. It is a completely different space that's not uh, essentially large enough to be its own plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I know a particular spell myself that actually allows me to create uh, very small demiplanes not good for much else than maybe storing things hmm. a demiplane of battle sounds like it's probably going to be a bit bigger than that but not nearly as big as well the world we're currently living in. It's gonna be fun. I'm not sure if that sounds comforting or not. Given the name, it probably involves some sort of war or fighting. Hmm. I mean, regardless, I bet the entrance is down there to whatever wane of battle. Is it possible this plane could be replicating a point in time? Uh, something I hadn't considered. It would really depend on how much effort whoever created it went to to replicate a point in time. I definitely say it was possible. They could be replicating the giant one. But he could still be Why? learning it. <gasps> well, I don't think speculation is going to get us much of anywhere on this. Mm -mm. Um, who wants to come up with me to go talk to the new guy? Because Misky didn't decide to kill him. Well, look, I, uh, I'll come. Because then I might get to kill him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> murder! Murder! Get Me up on the murder on train! The it's group therapy session time. Oh boy, I love cathartic. <laughs> the therapy is pain. Someone else's. <laughs> knock, you... knock, open up the door, it's real. You guys didn't take the manacles off me, did you? I, uh, I think it depends on what Notliff has done with you. I'm pretty sure we just chatted and then I went to sleep because I almost died seven times yesterday. Uh, let's see. Wait, we put manacles on you? Yes. And we tied him up. No, no, I've got the rope back, so that's no longer on him. I remember Josh saying something about metal bands being placed on there. God damn. Oh yeah, that did happen. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Not left gets kinky when we're away. Hmm? He's a lonely man. What else? You are shaken to wakefulness. <laughs> <laughs> Is it morning already? No, we need to talk. I just here to excuse me then. <laughs> well. I mean, I think I did a pretty poor job of laying the ground rules, but I mean, first of all, I would like to formally congratulate you on making yourself useful after laying around on the ship for several weeks. I mean, Good job on that. I fixed a couple of people's scratches in those few weeks. <sighs> yeah, excellent job on that. I'm sure their paper cuts are eternally thankful. I'm saying you didn't give me much of an opportunity. See your life. Yeah, yeah, I'm thankful for that. I'm just saying I didn't get much of a chance to show off until yesterday. Well, today. And then you tried to rob my brain dead friend. To be fair, it was brain dead. Well, he's, he's like that normally. <laughs> Depends which brain he's thinking with. Yeah, you haven't heard him try to lie before. Anyways. <laughs> I need to make things clear. We are 
first and foremost, you do not rob each other. That, that is final. If you do it again, we will kill you. All right, all right. Secondly, I saw you loot that other guy's dead body. While I um, appreciate your piracy, um, I feel like it's a little bit outstanding of you to try to rob somebody and then, uh, you know, also have already stolen from our overall take from the, you know, job. Oh, you mean when I saved the amulet thing that was running away and didn't actually take anything from the body? I thought he did take something from the body. I remember him saying that. Oh, I said I checked the body. I never took anything because an amulet started running away. I just remember somebody correcting me, and I think it was you. If not, then we can just YouTube rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looted anything since I chose. <laughs> yeah, he he okay. had to legit chase down the beetle and make sure it didn't get away. All right, YouTube rewind it because I must have just heard it wrong. Oh, oh that's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Anyways, um, also on top of that, recouping for material costs, obviously we can recoup you for that, and uh, you're entitled to your cut of whatever we took from that job. Okay, not okay. gonna lie, I just took it from him because I'm an asshole. I already I'm have like asshole. 10 diamonds. Don't Listen, worry, asshole we know. Asshole. <laughs> I asshole to asshole. Don't do that. This is a public eating area. It was metaphorical asshole in this game. Also, this is a this is a dormitory. No, we don't need in here. Yeah, no, we only prepare food up the back. It's fine. Oh yeah, sure. Don't even fucking acknowledge me back here. Well, we've only got the Hi, one not the left. Hi. You were busy. You always look so busy, Nolive. I feel bad interrupting you. I just finished, and I never get to fucking eat anywhere else. Uh, they should give you one of them. Uh... Tables that produce food constantly. Yes! Fucking great, please. Alright, we have those now. We have like yeah, seven of them. Do you want one with blood and those? We just, just got them. Just. Please don't hate us. Yes, that's an hour ago. Yeah, do, do you want one with fresh blood or no fresh blood? I don't give a fuck. Just please him, give me one. Give him fresh without blood the blood. <laughs> fresh blood. <laughs> he, he just doesn't give a shit and fucking set, start setting it up anyway. <laughs> Anyways, so, we'll take the manacles off. You just have to agree to be civil. You'll get the cut of your pay, etc. No, ro robbery is not allowed. You got that? Yeah, sounds good. People that aren't part of our crew, um, you can rob and kill as much as you want as long as it doesn't, like, you know, put us in extreme danger. That's by a group vote, though, however. We put ourselves in extreme danger a lot. By majority vote. Don't worry, Sometimes I, it just happens. I usually have some sort of sense of self-preservation. Mm -hmm. so that's good to have. Anyways, who actually has the key to these manacles? I, if I'm supposed to, I've lost it. I think your blue friend put them on me. Alright, well, I'll just open them. <laughs> I swear I didn't have any. I didn't have manacles. Oh, <laughs> Josh said someone put some on me at some point I while I was knocked out. Somebody 100% oh, did, but I don't remember who. But we'll leave it as I it didn't. It's fine. I think it was just assumed once we go to the boat, somebody put some on me. Because somebody this is a pirate ship. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, you can go back to sleep now. I just want to make sure that's clear with you. Um, you'll be reimbursed for your diamond and whatever else you earned from the cut of, you know, putting your life on the line with us idiots. Anyways, good night. Well, thanks for not killing me, I guess. Welcome. Okay, I'll yeah, just you can kill you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I could do it now. It's so easy. <laughs> I think we have to go to a demi plane tomorrow. Assuming we can find it. How what is that? How are we that? getting there? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, I assume there's an entrance somewhere in that fucking cellar. Doris. I mean, I know a little bit about plane travel. Really? Of course he does. 
<laughs> of course I do. Uh, I know I can do it. I've never done it. I need some sort of focus. <laughs> you know so. you can do it, but you've never done it. I'm hey. not walking through any portal emails. It's There's not even no, no portal required. It just mm -hmm. takes you. It Look, just I can, takes me. If you don't want to go, I can take someone else. I can take like eight people. But I do need something attuned to the plane. Oh. What the hell would that be? Like a tuning fork. Like a piece of metal with like energy in it. So well, where are we going? Like the celestial that. plane or like the water plane? You can probably buy them. It sounds a lot more expensive. Plane of than metal that. and some such. Plane of metal. I like metal. Battle. It's definitely not, not what I said. Definitely Battle. sounded like what you said. The battle sounds pretty metal to me. <laughs> it was definitely the plane of battle. I've never heard of that, I assume. Uh, especially with it being a demi plane, it is a peculiar one. Well, if you can manage to get me a tuning fork, I can take you there. Alright, well. Thanks for the offer. We'll see in the morning if we can find one. Mm. Does it have to be a magical tuning fork, or is this something that Mildred can make in like a minute? Well, I mean, if it has to be attuned to the plane, I assume it has to be like from it or something, because what, what good would it be if you could just make a tuning fork with the words plane of battle written on it and it works? <laughs> okay, um... When Junius jumped ship, did he take all of his books with him? Junius jumped ship? Uh, yeah, when we got... Because he's not fully left, but they're there. What do you mean he's okay. not fully left? He's probably running an errand. I instruct my two millirins to help me, and Raxiel can help too if he wants. Yeah. Uh, we're going through this library to search for anything related to the plane of battle. Oh, books. Well, you don't have to help, but it would, you know, help. We're kind of in a rush. Uh. I'll help with my encouragement. Encourage. I start start playing my liar. You could also go to you know, look at the books, Brad. No, no, you're much better at this. I help you. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, the little point. Thing. A singular point. Playing a fucking triangle. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Bing. That's, that's his one int Brad fucking bod uh, weapon. That's that's my next bot. He plays the triangle. Bing. I play you as the triangle. No, no, no. Play the cowbell. <laughs> oh, I'll, do it. I'll have to do it for like a IRL gamer so I can actually bring a triangle. It's just, I... Give you bardic inspiration. Ding. <laughs> okay, but why is there a boy? Hello, merger. What are you doing? A boy? I have a new friend. Oh. He is pretty. I wonder a couple hours later. Hey, you know, if they. Uh, if the people were attacking like, go to this plane all the time, they probably have a tuning fork. So, like, we probably can, like, yes. go to their house and steal it. I mean, already also a good that. idea. But we're looking for an easier way before we do that. Yes, that's what I'm currently doing. If I can if I can get a better understanding of our location, I can open a door straight there. You can do your thing to bring us back. But I'll literally be able to create a door that goes straight there. Okay, well if he's bringing us back, should we get a tuning fork for 
this plane prepared? I'd say I'm pretty attuned to this plane already. Yeah, I'd say coming back is probably e the easier of the two. But I don't need a I don't need a tuning fork or anything as long as I can find some details on this plane, which is why I'm going through this library. Library. And I'm melting. Ding. Both of the other me's. Roll me a good old investigation, a history, and an arcana. Okay. Should I do any of those with advantage? Uh, I would imagine with Bradamir tinging away, all three. Wow, well, I was more thinking for the three of me that are doing all the searching. Uh, I would definitely do the... Yeah, I'd be here giving you inspiration. Yeah, the uh, investigation part, just to find the, the book. Okay, uh, investigation. Uh, what were the other bits? <laughs> Arcana and history. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm not meant to. I'll just roll them normally, whatever. Arcana, mm. history. Looking over the entrance. Oh, hang on. The Arcana check is supposed to get my intuition. And you like, can see he is... What? Amazing. Already tweaking and poking at the engine itself. Adjusting dials, seemingly experimenting with different valves and pressures, learning it. As he uh, turns around to see you. Apologies. It just seems out of tune. Can't get it. Are you saying that to you, Miski? Okay, Jay. I'm awake, sorry, what? <laughs> uh, he, yeah, he died. <laughs> No, my apologies, my apologies. I thought they were still talking. I completely zoned out for a second there, staring at a rental application. Go through lasagna. <coughs> I don't blame you. And, but uh, this uh, merger has basically just mm -hmm. bit said that uh, sorry for touching things. This just seems out of tune. It seems out of tune. Yeah. How so? Well, the metal was buckling too much, and a lot of the steam steam gauges having to quick release too much. It's good for fast escapes and travel, but it'll eventually wear the engine block down and eventually crack. Maybe even a catastrophic meltdown if uh, not balanced no. properly. Oh, that's not good. Please, do what you need to do. And Miss Gill just... Watch him fix the boat! As you see him kind of fiddle around with the engine, because especially since it was mm. initially damaged way back with the Modron assault. Mm. Uh, when we uh, let it hold a little too long, and then it went almost boom. Exactly. <laughs> you can tell that he uh, practically crawls into the furnace section while it's still lit. Oh my god. No fucks to give. And I love him. You can actually see, like, even the crystals getting, like, super heated, but he, uh, is taking, like, different packs of crystals and metal, and seems to be extraordinarily in tune with engineering, and starts patching them over. You think that he was literally built for the purpose of repair, and only repair, from the way his body functions. That's amazing. Being crystals on his body, clearly regrowing all the time. The ones that are overgrown on his body clearly have had immense disuse. Oh my god. 
they're growing on his body. That is so freaking cool! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can see his body is constantly in a state of heat regulation and mineralization for overall his carapace and armor plating just to make sure that he can continue to repair the things inside. Mercia, you're incredible. It is my function. Do you enjoy it? I enjoy making sure that the machinery does not groan near me. It is what they say. A tick. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm sure there are plenty of other things on the ship that will keep you entertained. But if you speak to Stratosphere, yeah. I'm sure you two will have fun with this. I will have to teach her. <laughs> you will, because he's the main mechanic. Uh... The main furnace block seems cracked and overabused. Somehow I don't think he gets to treat this how he would like to, and only how we want him to use it. Because <laughs> unfortunately that's true. <laughs> Hey, don't let this blow up, but be ready to take off real fucking quick, okay? <laughs> That's pretty much what's been <laughs> happening. And thank god you guys got murdered because he's a buzzing in the sky. He's amazing. This shit is getting so busted. <laughs> oh damn, I didn't even think about it. Especially after fucking it up so bad, like... You guys repaired it, but, like, nobody ever shut it off fully to go into it and repair it. Yeah, because oh, they could have done that when we were in the cold. You know, when we were playing with the giants. Yeah. yeah. They ran it really high. So Damn, Stratosphere, stay... not using your initiative? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure that would have went over well if we came screaming back. Like, Holy shit, the giants are coming to kill us. We need to leave right now. Uh, <laughs> it's cold. About, about that, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> Miller runs up, casts fireball in the engine to kickstart it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, Miller. Mm -hmm. Yes? Upon your investigations into Judas Lucius's books, you find many disturbing diaries, he's, and diaries, fantasy stories, and other things that he's written of his own. And, well, even predications of, uh, well, exterminatus equivalently on most flesh beings in an entire continent made of iron in perfection. Mm. But, Wait a uh, second, does he right. do his own fan fiction? He writes fan fiction. <laughs> I think you would too after 600 years. God. This story would be better if those two fucked. No, it's not <laughs> fan fiction, it's future <laughs> fact. <laughs> science fiction, soon to be true science fact. But, uh, upon the study of it, the demi planes such for battle are you, that are usually set up are more easily collected upon from arenas, as the blood spilled over the sand constantly eventually makes planar leaks where occasionally those splash over. There's been myths that record in Junus Lucius books, especially in the Vampire's Old Kingdom, of portals accidentally rifting open just so barbarians can use an arena of old as a honored standing ground to spill each other's blood. Many of the beings and denizens from this plan, planar existence, sometimes appear chronically mutated or are natural warriors of old that have seemingly stopped time when they reside within this area. Though the planarscape is turned into a hellish nightmare, some would even consider it to be equal to the nines. 
it is an eternal conflict and fountain of blood where on occasion those who honor and respect the gods of battle the most are rewarded with bountiful feasts and times of brief reprieve and reward though many especially due to the energies of this plane have a hard time resisting the urge to run back out and to continue to fight uh, overexposure to these planar energies will eventually throw anyone into a permanent or temporary rage depending on how much they absorb and if they can get out quick enough without spending too long in such a place. Uh. So, equivalently hellish Valhalla. Is it possible for these things to come off of actual, like, battlefields from wars? Yeah. Battlefields, arenas. You could have been trapped this entire time. Fuck just remaking the giant war. It could have been the giant war that put him in this. Oh. This is... Oh. Victor knew where he, where he was. Someone else must have fell. This is too general. It'll take too long to go through the mall. If I can home in on the... on one tied to the giant wall. Uh, something to focus on after wait do we still have a reason to raid the Sultanate's palace uh currently no no I mean he's a fuck I imagine uh, he's pretty rich we could steal some of that uh you do have a it was connected to the research lab. If Victor knew where Adol was, someone in palace must as well. Which means somewhere in that palace. He must be. report to someone. If we can break him, we might be able to find a, a stronger connection to locate Adol. No, Have not with you. You connect the leg. I will hold the table up. <laughs> 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 oh, come on already, it's not fucking Kia Ai. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's backwards for not look. Where's the Allen key? It is. It really is. <laughs> you mean Akiai? Akiai. I love Aki. Aki. Don't break my heart. My Aki break ya. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> something to focus on tomorrow. I suppose Ada will have to wait at least another day, so get everything we need to prepare for it. I'm about to just fucking blow up the world. Oh, yes. I need a fucking rest, though. Today was too exhausting. Millie's continue to note anything you find on the plane, on the demi plane of battle going to bed. Yes, sir. <laughs> I really wanted Rosie no, to I... respond to herself. Fact, <laughs> temporarily cancel my uh, current actual adult form that Maria su supplies me so I can just sleep on my bed under the table. All right. Wait, I have a question. Mm. Are the Millie dupes little girl Millies? 
because they're not under the effect of the Miryu thing? Uh, they are simulacrums made of uh, ice and snow that are direct copies of myself. So, I would have designed them based on the me at the time I made them. Oh, cool. uh, they are both that make yourself look like whatever and have multiple assistants that are you that aren't you. Well, they have to look like me to be me, but... But it could be you throughout the ages. Grandma Millie. They're just, they're just me from... Like, they become me at the time they were made. Mm. But they're constructs, so it's not like they'll age or anything. They're immortal. So long as they don't go into extremely hot volcanoes. Well, I mean... Or Australia. Like I said, extremely hot. I mean, they're safe. Such a waste of... Yensid land. I love Yensid land. What's Yensid? Disneyland. Ah. Oh. Gosh, keep up with the chat, KG. <laughs> I just saw Yen said, I'm like, that's not how you spell Sydney. Wait a second. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> Welcome to Sydney. <laughs> Do we finally long rest? Oh, not love. Yeah, time to rest, baby. What is it? Please don't tell me you have another leg in there. It's a no, five table no. leg. I fucking hate those. So, <laughs> I think we finished with the table now. But I feel we may be going into tight spaces to. If that is the case, I will not need flight pack. I should be able to test out the medical pack you made some time ago. Oh, perfect. I was wondering when you're gonna need that. How exactly does it function? Well, the best way I can describe it, it's like if uh, somebody stole everything from a potion shop that was health, stuck it in like a feeding tube or a really dangerous needle. But I would imagine being stuck by a big needle would be the least of their worries. But, uh, you can usually feed it into them. Like so. And, uh, there's like the little thrust towards somebody's arm with this needle that's probably like a half a foot long. Hmm. This is... This is like being an apothecary for a fuck. <laughs> what am I for you? <laughs> Giant drill, here's your injection. <laughs> Shut up, friend. Alright. I'll have to give it a try then. I'll let you know how it works. Yeah, please do. I haven't had a chance to, uh, Fully field tested, but have followed the specs. Alright, how much does that medical pack weigh on me, boy? Uh, so with the. Some. It weighs about 500. 500! <laughs> That's a lot of healing potions. That's like four of... So... You can... It's alright. I can still carry that just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can... Easily inject people with the juice of life as the equivalent of five supreme healing potions. Bruh. Oh. Obviously, you could split those up. They can either be 
5 supreme, 10 greater, or 20 normal. So it's got the equivalent of 5 supreme. Which obviously they can each be subsequently broken down. Right. And you have a hundred d4s of healing. <laughs> In which also at the same time you can straight feed those potions into someone to double their health, but you need to roll a medicine check. And if you fail said medicine check. I'm not proficient in medicine, though. But, uh, if you fail that said medicine check, which is usually at least a 10 minimum, as long as they're conscious, if they're unconscious, it will be a 15. Because, obviously, a little bit panicked and numb down to body and heavy armor, unable to work around. A little tougher. Unarmored would not suffer the plus 5 penalty. So any wizards or such would not receive that, and they would just be another 10. But if you do fail that medicine check, they would only receive half of the healing. <laughs> they die. <laughs> you inject an oxygen bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Clock travels to the brain. So, you guys will be able to get a little rest. Yay. There is high security going on in the city for some reason. Oh. You see a lot of soldiers and other people patrolling around. Well, what's Junius up to? Man, I'm sure <laughs> glad that I had told everybody to go below deck who's involved in that robbery. So none of them are above deck right now. Should be a real shame if you know I Iron Shard's mom was leaning over the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean, friend. I'm just what kidding. You the sights. Hold on, I'm gonna go buy a bagel. I don't know why. I just want a no. bagel. I can't even eat, eat it. I don't even have a mouth. Bagel, bagel, bagel. Fuck you. Sell me a bagel. <laughs> Bring me a bagel. Bagel! Adam, you're a warforged. I need a bagel. Bagel! So please deposit bagel, 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 bagel. Bagel, So. Uh, as the boys are marching around, you can tell that they are going ship to ship. Ow. Uh oh. Mm -mm. I notice this, narrow my gaze, and start slow walking back a below deck. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. We're morning, fucked. Oh, what, what's the matter? What? What's going on? They're searching all the ships down at the docks. And there's a lot of soldiers outside. Do you, do you have any idea how long it'll take for them to get here? I mean, I don't know. Well, we could just put all of them inside the portable hole, and I could just put the portable hole inside my hat. Are we actually docked, or are we just, like, floating? See, no, I was we just going docked. to create a demi-plane to hide everyone in. Can you hide the demi-plane? Uh, well, I can just get rid of the door, and Ooh. it'll only exist again if I make it. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay, uh, <laughs> round everyone up. <laughs> Hey, um, good morning, good morning, Mrs. Ironstride. Um, we're fucked. Could you please go on over to <laughs> Millie real quick? Um, we need you guys to Mrs. hide for a little Ironstride. bit. Mrs. Ironstride. Patriot, could you please also go and join Miss Ironstride in hiding? Because, uh, oh boy. <laughs> but this is not brave. Um, uh, they, they outnumber us like 50 to 1. I'd rather not turn this into a bloodbath yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! He marches towards the door. Oh god, no, Florian, please, why? Patriot. 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 Please. We're going Patriot. to advance Patriot. in the other direction for future battles. Please, please convince Patriot to play along. I'm worried for all of our health. Patriot, please. 
There is no honor in bringing unnecessary death to us. But brother, they brought unnecessary death to us? We do the same to them, for honor! And we shall, in time. But right now, we need the element of surprise. And we must wait. Patience is a... Ah yes, an honorable killing. They won't even know. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I love Patriot. Uh -huh. I love his enthusiasm. He's got the spirit. <laughs> He'll happily uh, go inside. Let me know when to spring the trap or break all their necks. Yes, wait for a <laughs> signal. <laughs> Nobody say the signal. Hey, Chase, how's it going? What was the signal? No, no! <laughs> Could you do me a solid chase? Um, the, uh, the military's coming to search our ship in a little bit. Could you uh, go on over to Millie? You're just going to step inside of a room for a little bit. You'll be right back out. Just gives it the silent nod and starts walking out. Oh, oh, yeah, you guys. Hey, boys. <laughs> oh, wait, these are the ones we rescued, right? Yep. Dead these okay. two are the ones repaired. Okay. Could you four uh, go on over to Millie, uh, back at the other end of this deck, please? Right away, sir. Thank you. Where's the, where, where the F is the last one? <laughs> I'm like running around the ship. <laughs> what? What? The, he's in here? What? No, no, Nisky, put on some pants! <laughs> God! <laughs> Don't you knock! Uh, this is important. The fucking military's gonna search our ship. Merger, come with me. At this point, you can hear someone walking on board the ship. Uh, on, quick question. <laughs> no, if yes? you're on board, you can't. You have to come up through that grate. They're gonna see him. He, uh, oh, yeah. he looks around, climbs inside. I was gonna door. say, can he hide inside? <laughs> yeah, saw him, saw him. <laughs> what was that? So, anyway, I have a question from Miller. Yeah. How long are you keeping this door open? Uh, well, I'm going to shut it as soon as everyone's in there. All right, I walk back up on deck. <laughs> Can like normal people live in there? Uh, yeah. Or only these robot I people. sure hope they do. Okay, were we planning on going to that other plane today? Well, not anymore. All right. And I also no, because we were planning to go somewhere else today. I step into the plane. Good plan. Uh, I will let you know. We won't be able to contact you once I close this door, so... So good. Use your own judgment. I should hopefully be back. Oh god, he's gonna kill everything. <laughs> he just goes in there and starts, like, death-spelling all the Warforged. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I plan to take on like eight were forged on my own. That's my, <laughs> my genius plan. I'll never see it coming. Then this is how I take over. <laughs> I go up on deck. <laughs> go grab my hat. <laughs> Puts on Captain Hat. Are you Captain of the Elbrath? Uh, yes, I'm Captain Telbrath. How are you doing? Under orders of the Sultanate, we are to inspect every ship on the dockyard. Can I see your writ approving such a search? With that, he'll actually march right up with a leather scroll case down in furls with a little ivory bone that keeps it sealed shut. And as it opens up, you can see this almost prismatic dusted paper going all the way up with the Sultanate's seal and signature and holds it. Holds up the warrant of inspection to you. 
Damn, I like that die. I'll have to ask where he gets that. Anyways, um, yeah, sure. Do you want me to give you a tour? It would be appreciated. Please, we wish to inspect your hold in engine room. Oh, of course, of course. Come on. First, we'll go with the engine room, because it's the furthest away from all the war parts currently <laughs> being. <laughs> that you can see the three stay on, on board, obviously, keeping watch over everything. They are eyeballing the shit out of these war forages. <laughs> Do you have a problem with um, with my men? We are currently looking for lost property. Nothing to worry oh, about, sir. I, I assure of you, course. you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very upstanding bird. I believe you. <laughs> we, just, we just need to confirm. Obviously, you're a great dealer in many of the specialty care I items, as they you know, do the little hand gesture towards the Unit 63 and A3 and all that. I narrow my gaze at them. <laughs> Obviously, they're, Down they're thinking you're a, uh, a full-on Warforged dealer. Uh-huh. Uh, Anyways, Miski, did you put on some pants yet? The military's here. Yeah, I've put on pants. You see her, like, shoveling in a bit of fuel to... <laughs> <laughs> Cover up some bits and pieces. Oh. No, thank you. Anyway, this is our <laughs> engine room slash sex dungeon. Um, sorry. Do they really <laughs> need to know that? They're performing an inspection. They're officials. <laughs> Would you like to see my collection of whips and chains? Oh, no, wait, I gave my whip away. <laughs> Damn it. Talad uh, goes to spit out his drink in the corner. <laughs> looks, looks at, uh, looks at Talad, looks at me, like, I, uh, <clears throat> Your men of yeah. Taste. Uh, it was it was a joke, sir. Wow. She's taken. Of course. As the uh, you know they they look around, you know, kind of eyeball some of the coal, the like air and fire crystals and such. They, these guys are checking out over the barrels and such. Uh, Misky, go ahead and roll me a deception check. Ooh. I don't want to. <laughs> Can she have advantage from that sick joke I slung? Oh, no. I, I don't need it. Yeah, she don't. Fuck you. She don't need it, especially with the uh, the quick covering of the coals and like, you know, frothing up as much like ash and smoke dust as you can. You know, you get it like that nice roiling cloud in there in the engine window that blocks off the whole view. Yeah, you know, kind of strolls by. You know, takes a look at it. You know. Looks at the window. Impressive. Oh. Looks all to be clear here. Could you uh, show us the way to your hold then, please? Yeah, please. You have to come back up through here. It's not a... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, show him past the dragon. Oh, yeah, huh. Do you guys want to meet our fairy dragon? He's really nice. I mean, it's his hold. Yeah. <laughs> that would explain how you've gotten so much wolf forge. I'll have to recommend yeah. you to my lord. Please do. Yeah, we would love to... I've heard he throws great parties. Indeed he does. He's always very welcome with new merchants. Especially those dealing with the old artifacts. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I can't get enough of history. I love seeing the old battlefield, you know? <laughs> I would imagine that the old Gagron Warfronts... Uh, but then again, these pieces look to be too intact. Maybe a secret spot you would have to share with him. I'm sure he'd be delighted. Oh no, sir. The secret is that we have talented mechanics. Really? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. But that isn't deception. We no, do. Just, I was gonna say, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, a sleight of hand, just kind of like you know, the hand waves and also a persuasion, just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> on the persuasion as well. Obviously, you know, like oh, keeping him away and distracted from all the other things. I, I did all right on that for having a fucking minus one. <laughs> you can tell they they're getting pretty heavily distracted. And uh, yeah, anyway, merger will uh, kind of look out uh, out the window, pointing like. I'll only come out when they're gone. 
I understand. I just want to make sure I didn't hate you too much. I didn't ask before I threw stuff on top of you. I could survive this for a while. Okay. Anyways, um, I assume all the war are gone much. when I come down the stairs. So, as you uh, come down, they mm -hmm. uh, look very impressed at Ironstride. Yeah, this is um, this is my good friend and partner. Uh, good evening. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, an intelligent one. I can only imagine how difficult it was to find him. Yeah, I know. He is very smart, like, honestly. Anyways, um, back here, this is our crew quarters. Um, he kind of... You can tell there's, like, some questioning when he sees Memdash and Philly. Especially oh, I should. Oh. Good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> this room is not a sex dungeon also I just thought I'd let you know that fair enough I can see you've uh, well, built your own personal workshop back here to assist the engineers um the one, the one in the back is the main one that's not live top of the morning <clears throat> Well, I'll try and keep this brief. Obviously, you know, man of business. I don't mean to delay you. So, he'll, uh... Oh, no. But, of course, he'll go down and take a poke around in the hold. See, uh, Raxiel's collection. Just kind of nods at everything. <laughs> Why do you think I made you do the sleight of hand in the persuasion? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was like, yeah, I mean, I did forget that we also unloaded all the shit from the fucking bag, so I mean, oh. just a big pile of alcohol in one corner. But hey, I mean, look, you no, know, we like out Lego. We did not drink like sixty bottles of aged wine last night. It professionally aged. No. So, yeah. you know, I was gonna say there's already wine. gonna be a pile, right? <laughs> we just added to the pile. It's just a huge rack, you know. Like, but he's not. It doesn't seem because like you're down there in the hold with him. It doesn't seem like he's looking at the bottles. It's just like, you know, he's nodding. Like obviously, especially since you look like a merchant, this sells it even more. Like, you know. Maybe entertaining stashes for when you're selling or having a celebratory, you know, mark on something you found or something. Yeah, I mean, we, we look rather wealthy, so I mean, you know, they probably aren't too worried. They're, they're probably mostly looking for Iron Stride's mother. <laughs> I think that's the main piece of merchandise they're looking for. <laughs> the mother, you know, Chase, Merger, Patriot. Even well, Martin. I mean... Reckoner went in there as well, yeah. just to be sure. They've really been searching for about five minutes, right? Uh, currently, at this point, it would probably be realistically like at the 15 minute mark. Yeah, because okay. I've been chumming it up to stall them. <laughs> it's come to a thousand, which is about 16 minutes. Time to kill them. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Kicks down the door. Death to the military. <laughs> it stabs him through the chest and then starts charging. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, nonetheless, this is a pleasant chat. Uh, do you have a uh, preferred business name, Mr. Tona? Oh, Telrath is fine, sure. Uh, very well. I'll be sure to inform His Highness that the Elbref has some rather unique and actually very desirable designs. I am sure that the designers would love to hear that. 
my regards. <laughs> and they will start heading up on, uh, on out. <laughs> Iron Shred's probably like death staring them <laughs> from the visor. Just, just watching them leave. 999. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna attempt to plane shift myself back to the ship. Oh I no. I do not have a tuning fork. Oh no. But I feel like I'm tuned enough to the prime oh. of this plane for it to work, you know? Are, are, are I've you never done this bonkers? before. Oh, this is, this is the worst idea. <laughs> I mean, just yourself, right? Yes. Yeah. Holy shit, because that's loud as fuck. Excuse me? Plane shifting is very loud. It's also like teleportation. The nurse, Mac. The door blasts him and like, what was that? <laughs> so... Plane shift teleportation. Hate to uh, hate to say it, but you you do realize that. Is it not a different the tuning plane? fork? Is literally the material component of this spell. Yeah, I've never cast this before. I'm just trying to plane shift. All right, so <laughs> it just doesn't go. Just doesn't do. Hmm. <laughs> Thank God for that. How badly could that have gone? I won't tell. Okay, I've got this another spell awesome. that I've never used before. Oh, no. Well, that also consumed my spell slot, by the way. <clears throat> Just trying to force out a plane shift. Uh, for that, unfortunately, it would. Because you're still okay. expelling the energy to do it, but it's incomplete because it doesn't have the proper focus. So, I'm on a plane... That is not the plane I come from. At this point, Brad goes, what the fuck are you doing? So, so are all the... What? You're not in here, are you? Why the fuck are you in here? Yeah, I'm in here. <laughs> Why the fuck are you in here? <laughs> Alright, well... I'm in seven counties, son. Don't ask questions. You just volunteered. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Why are you in here? I was... I'm here to practice some magic. You, you just volunteered, by the way. Yeah. So this spell lets me banish things to other planes. But if what I'm on a plane volunteer? and they're not from... Well, you just appeared as I was casting spells. That's volunteering. Well, I mean, so if you're from... Change. If you're from a different plane, it should send you back to that plane. Correct. Mm. So, hold still. I'll cast banishment on Bradamir. Do you resist? Brad? Do you resist? Oh god. I... Uh... <laughs> you have reason not to trust me. <laughs> I do. Make a persuasion check. But I'm so charismatic. You are, aren't you? That's religion. Okay. Plus a zero. <laughs> no, I, resi I resist. What's your. Oh, no. kind of oh, you're gonna pass it. <laughs> it's wisdom, though. It's, it's charisma. Oh, it's charisma. <laughs> oh, it's charisma. Oh, it's charisma. <laughs> you have like a plus 15 in that now. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Like. How about you go fuck yourself? Can I cast banishment on myself? Okay, I I would like to point out. I cast banishment on myself. Mm. I don't. Banishment resist. incapacitates you. Okay, yeah. so you then I would I would appear in this plane and then fail the con save and instantly teleport back. I guess. But if it banishes uh, you no, to the home the plane, the of the spell, you would be stunned for a minute, so you'd like. Banish yourself, appear like somebody roofied you laying on the floor, <laughs> and then wake up well, after a minute. <laughs> well, no, that's the thing, right? Is that it's only a permanent it's... punishment if you can maintain concentration yeah, for, a minute. for a minute. Okay. So I would appear in this plane for like for like two seconds and then teleport back. What? <laughs> 
is even better. So we see Carlisle, and just like before one word can even be said, and then <laughs> gone again. Before what? he wakes up on the floor of the mansion. Like what? What? The demi plane. Yeah, the demi plane. And I'm still What's stunned. <laughs> you were stunned for a brief time, yes. But you wake up back in the mansion. Uh. Poke him Kill with the effort. Plane. I didn't open the mansion. I did it. it takes longer. Oh, the <laughs> Look at that. I just traveled planes on my own. And why are you still here? I didn't know if I'd have enough time for it. Also, I didn't prepare <clears throat> the mansion. Do you want to go back and tell tell him to let us out? Well, is it safe out there yet? Maybe it's not. I was there for about one second, so I don't know. I mean, it's been like 20 minutes. No, it's been about 1,200 seconds. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes, exactly. So, huh. uh, when Merger goes to get to the edge of the first thing. You will see he gets out piping red hot. Uh... And he will sit on the edge and not touch the wood. <laughs> That's sick. Like... Fuck. Yeah, he's like burning hot. Like as red hot as that fucking fire in there. Like, this Strato, will take... Mm. You can't cool him down, can you? Uh... Please, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it. Slowly? I mean, it is metal. I don't want to Warp. break yeah. anything. Fuck up. But, uh, but you're still here! I am feeling bad that you've got stuff in you. I really want to brush it off, but it would hurt. He uh, starts doing, like, small gusts. <laughs> Just a cantrip, like, gusts that start, like, trying to cool him <laughs> off. Like a little bit from a distance, just so the heat is not like retained. The cloak that he had is just completely burned away. Oh, <laughs> we'll get you a new cloak. One with Millie's mark. It'll be cool. Wear that filthy human's mark. Yes, do it. But yeah, that will take probably a roundabout of like a good three hours before he can finally touch you. Dang. Did you ever see a fresh casted metal ingot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much close to the temperature that he was at. <laughs> Alright, so. As uh, that inspection finishes out, obviously the guard's gone, everyone is safe in the demi plane. Merger is safe and slowly cooling off with the assistance of Strasbourg and Miski trying to help him out so he doesn't like burn down the ship on accident. So you didn't like come here to murder me or anything, did you, monkey? No. But murder is honor! He could have sounded more genuine with that reaction. I could have. Ah, he's going for the most honorable part. Killing you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can send you guys back if you want. Ah, this would be the greatest opportunity. I can ambush them as soon as I appear. Who are we ambushing? The heinous guards that came to inspect the ship. I've been waiting for the signal. Send me through. Now, now we haven't got the, we haven't got the signal yet, so we have to wait. This is true, but this would be the greatest honor. They would never expect it. But surely you know the importance of battle plans. Agree. Ambush them. Kill them. Make sure none survive. 
No, we must ambush them when the, when the signal comes. That is when ambush is most powerful. That's how they work? I've been doing it wrong. Oh. Well, anyhow, we must wait for the signal, so... At this point, Merlot will chime in. <laughs> we must be patient before revenge. And you can tell that she's saying that just to get him to calm down. At that point, he just looks at him. Uh, you're right. He just plants plants the sword back in the arm gauntlet and stands there like a soldier waiting for orders. And now we wait for the signal. Gonna practice some battle tactics with Petri. Gonna cast Holy Weapon on his thing and see if it stays there. On his uh, arm full blade? Yeah, it will. Yeah, because I don't think it has to be a weapon that I'm holding. Yeah, it's true. You just cast it on a weapon and maintain the concentration. That's much better than spiritual weapon. I can feel my physics become stronger. <laughs> <laughs> After a couple hours, I will pl uh, banish myself again <laughs> to see what's going on. <laughs> so, appearing next to the workshop again, <laughs> you just see both the fucking millions for all of six seconds before just. and then back again. Uh, they didn't all die. Well, that's nice. So why are we still here? I don't know. Maybe they want us to starve to death. Foolish! I do not hunger! Yes, it'll be us that starves to death and eight warforged in here that are very unhappy. I'll have to eat you. What if I eat you first? And like arm wrestle or something. I feel like Meredith like oh. would be sitting there like she's babysitting all over her again. She's just watching in amusement like, So this is what my son had to travel with. <laughs> <laughs> the sacrifices he made. <laughs> so, uh, just uh, an FYI for those of you within the Demi play. Uh, it is a... 30 foot, but on all dimensions. Oh, it's small. Yes. Yeah. Uh. It, it is a cube that is 30 feet in every dimension. Wow. Do you have a piece of paper? No. Uh, and the walls in this one are wooden. Wood. All right. Oh. Do you have, uh, like, a piece of chalk or something? No. <laughs> oh, Alright. Yes. The size of it just makes it so much fucking worse. It's pretty big, I mean, actually. Yeah, that's the size of it. I just drew it. Like, that isn't that hard. Okay, we should agree now. Which corner is the pea corner? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll put it outside, so we can designate a pea corner that isn't on the ship. Puts it on the ship anyway. God. <laughs> and in this uh, corner, right of me. Why did I come in here? <laughs> 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 Oh no. Uh, I'm sitting in it. I feel like Carl has putting that in for like every second that he's in there. 
carving that into the wall. Yeah, Take probably. A... Oh, wait. If it's a whole day, he's got nothing else to do. I'm gonna get them back, and they're going to have lost their sanity. I left my bag of holding outside, didn't I? I'll take it in here. He wants to practice his spells, but he knows Brad will uh, use his You 100% oh, can. You can? Alright. Well, then I start drinking alcohol. The answer is get drunk. <laughs> and, I, and I roll a ball across the room over to Carlisle. If only I could think of things to use my gear. This would be the perfect time. So what does that do? Any guys want to go shopping? It's like a gear from Cody Gears. <laughs> do you need Can to get anything specific? Make someone do whatever you want. Or they take five d ten damage whenever they yeah. try to resist. Oh. I mean, we could. I don't know, actually know what the hell I'd want to go, God. Do you want to, I don't know, fight to the death or something? <laughs> uh, I know you can, like, counter my spells, so it probably won't turn out well for me. How many times can you do that, by the way? Uh, holds out both my hands with all my fingers showing. That's a lot of times. Can you counter like spells like this and not cast a spell? Are you gonna counter spell it? Can't you cast a dispel? I'm going to cast a spell. Are you going a to spell. counter spell? I'm just uh, gonna cast a light cantrip. I don't know. <laughs> Would I? Can you count a can? Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. I am going to constantly cast my light spell on and off like a rave for the next 10 hours. <laughs> until you use up all your counter spells. <laughs> if you bother. I think you'll have a seizure first. <laughs> uh, do that with my light. Light country. Hey. But in the other corner. Do the intelligent robots look like they want to die? Miro is just sitting there like... You can tell that she is regretting being Ow. awake for the current circumstance. You know... You should teach me how to play that thing. What the... I can only play bagpipes, and I don't own Me too, I also don't own bagpipes. Damn. <laughs> play me a song for the next 12 hours. Yeah, I, I play Megalovania on repeat for the next 12 hours. Oh my god. Beautiful. Fade to play. Crawling in! <laughs> Hmm. All right. Three. So, aside from the agonizing pain and wait, you get a long rest. And all those hours pass. Feels so bad, man. I only have like five days worth of so if they don't let us out of here soon, we might actually have to eat each other. Cross that bridge when we get to it. Poop corner is looking pretty bad. Yeah. This <laughs> 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 my corner, his corner, the poop corner, and the warforged corner from us filthy humans. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the other four have gone completely inactive. Chase <laughs> actually occasionally says a few things very quietly. Patriot is sitting there humming. Some kind of patriotic tune. Yes. He's humming like the American fucking anthem to my rave lights. And you actually overhear a argument of Reckoner and Mirrolith. Oh, her being accusation. 
You're sleeping with my son. That her husband is <laughs> also responsible for her husband being imprisoned and her having uh. to leave her peaceful life behind. I, I, uh, Bradbury, like, uh? And, uh, uh. also... Gossip. Also threatening, uh, threatening Reckoner over the fact that if anything were to happen to her son, she would literally piecemeal her apart, melt her down into ingots, and leave her head intact, so she would be on Jesus forever Christ. with nothing to do. Mm. Uh. You know, I think she'd beat you. Look at that huge shield. I mean, sorry to get involved. I reckon her looks like she kicks way more ass than you. So, as a... Yes, sir. I'm still here, by the way. Robot death fight to pass the time? <laughs> sorry. We can do four rounds. She will cast silence on your corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My man. The fuck did I miss? <laughs> oh, my rave stops working because it's verbal. My rave. Is light verbal? It is. What? Light is also verbal. Is Brad and Carlisle playing fucking Beat Saber in the pocket dimension? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Mirrorless was threatening Reckoner the entire time. As a Carlisle. Oh my. Carlo made a smarmy remark, and then she cast silence on his corner. Mama's angry. But yeah, she was that threatening reckoner to not fuck with her son. Fair enough, then. But also, uh, planting a lot of blame on her for the fact that her husband is gone. Oof. Did you fuck my robos on you, harlot? I know you're a goddamn hussy! <laughs> but yeah, full, uh, full mom mode. Wow, shit. God, God damn, mom. Chill. Brother, we are close over to join the silent score. Teaches him how to play the liar. What you gotta do it, and then Carlos is watching his sound happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Imagine a man stranded for hundreds of years that's just been shitting in his bag of gold and then turns it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, he, 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 he rolls into town, stands over the edge of the castle wall, and turns it upside down and out. Oh, no! The next scene coming. is just silent and brown down. <laughs> I am God! And you no, are it's not a bag. <laughs> it's not a bag of holding, it's a portable hole full of shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the metric tons of shit that would come flooding out of that thing. Of Rancid <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Uh, as the day finishes off and poor Brother and Carl are stuck in the the, the, the fucking pocket dimension. It's the mum dimension now. Oh, Billy Red will get her spells in while I get their spells back. But, uh, there's an Yay! eventual silence before Chase kind of talks occasionally to Miralith and even Reckoner. And weirdly enough, they seem to start clicking together. Okay. You're not sure what Chase is saying. Because it is quiet enough where Carlisle and Bradomir can't hear it, but also they're asleep for most of it. But Chase seems to have played therapist in a way to both of them. Interesting. 
my head out. Go to one of the walls. Create the doorway. Just... Ah! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> what the fuck have you been doing in there? Oh, it's open! Go! Go! <laughs> I, I literally... As I'm running... As I'm running, I, like, push Brad down so I can get out before... <laughs> you all trying to get out, you slide on... I slipped on a banana peel through the piss corner. <laughs> you clean my fucking... You clean my fucking dimension. Piss <laughs> corner. How long has it been? What the hell have we That's right. It stayed there. I forgot. I just took a dump in the pocket of it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlisle, I can see you hiding behind that tree. Both of you get over here and clean this up. No, you answer us first. What the hell? What the <laughs> hell, boy? Why were we in there for so long? I can only open it once a day. Why did you go in there? Why did you do that? Look, I don't know why he went in there, but I had a perfectly valid reason. Did you? Did you really? Yes, I wanted to practice my spell that you said I didn't know how to cast. Oh, yeah? The one that made you appear here for about two seconds? It worked. For Not two very seconds. very well, clearly. Well, no, it's the, actually the other spell that didn't even get me here for two seconds. Turns out, I'm not attuned enough to this plane. And I'm gonna need some, uh, some rods, or whatever they're called, tuning for- Can we, like, go to the shops and get some? Okay, look. Get in there, clean it up. Do, do we do have a mop? keep the door open for an hour. Clean the mess. Actually, I think I've got that thing that just cleans things. No, I don't. <laughs> Isn't there a magic spell that just cleans things? Yeah, just have out. an hour. Clean the mess now. You have that spell, Brad. No. Is there a mop on this ship? Of course. Okay. Levitate. That uh, could work. If you kept levitate on the fucking turn pile. <laughs> Does it work on stained floorboards? Probably not. You lift the floor out of there. It's just like. Uh, probably disintegrated. <laughs> Must have been laser the poof. <laughs> Good. Look, I don't care how you clean it. Just make sure it's clean. All right. I'm gonna stand like right in next to the door in case it starts closing. <laughs> Can I blight the poop? Blight. <laughs> Wait a minute. You two, get in. Start cleaning. It withers and dies if it's not a living creature. Yeah, but it's still there. <laughs> it's poop. Do you have that spell that turns people to dust? Welcome oh. to D&D, where you can live out your ultimate fantasies <laughs> in reality. I blight that shit. What would you... To fucking blight the poop. Okay, I start, I start cleaning the normal human way. Like a spiritual weapon and it's a mop. Oh my fucking god. Well, especially since it's forced. Hold on. Aww. There we are. It splatters. It splatters. Just make a poop as well. Okay, I get a real mop. Can't you just like dispel the dimension and make a better one? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not covered in poop. It's it doesn't... smeared everywhere. Is this your only one? <sighs> Spiritual mop of cleaning didn't really do the job. I cast creation to make some mops. Thanks. And <laughs> toss them in. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door on them. You really should have just pooped in your bag. We should have said that earlier. 
I didn't know you had it until you pulled out your your liar. And it was too late. And uh, uh Okay, is there a is there some kind of ability check that you want us to do? I don't think you can fail after smearing shit across the key with All spiritual right. mop. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh god, awful. Just stuff a little bit, and I'm like, okay. Here, I hold the jug out, and I go full of uh, vinegar. Oh god. I guess that's liquid. That'll do. Okay, time passes. We clean. It'll smell <laughs> awful, but it helps with stains. Mirrorless will give Ironstride a big hug and say, Thank you for putting up with these people for me. <laughs> well, I, I Ironstride, yeah, Ironstride and Tillerath are out right now. They're not on the shoot. We went to the floor. Yeah, when you return, he will, she will definitely give you a hug. <laughs> oh. Okay, we cleaned it. Can I go to the shops now? Yes, you can go to the shops now, it's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> You've done your chores, you can go! What was my equivalent of the, uh, the share? Of the what? Oh, uh, your captain said I got it. Right. Also, also this is for planar travel shit, so it's sort of for everybody. Well, talk to him about it then. I don't think he's here. They can can't cost that much. I just take like a couple thousand. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Can I just take enough to buy oh, my... Oh, they're magical items! Like I said, talk to him about it. Yeah, wait till Dad gets home. <laughs> We're out buying for one. This is incredible. <laughs> you could take someone with you who's allowed to carry the money. She told me to ask the bird. Considering you took a shit in the corner, I feel like that reaction is extremely accurate. <laughs> it's like the first 20 minutes he started shitting in the corner. <laughs> Couldn't even hold it. Hey, hard. you woke me up straight away and were like, Hey, there's fucking cops here, cheese it. And I was like, oh, I haven't done my morning, haven't even done my morning poop yet, but okay. You didn't have to go into the fucking... Yeah, but I, w I wanted to test my spell, you know. So you did this for yourself, really. <laughs> test what? How long you could hold it? Because <laughs> you failed. Spell Vault Door Rectum. <laughs> the vault is sealed. Alright, so, uh, what would you like to do since you have the teleportation circle plans, the pieces that you have knowledge-wise that you would need to, well, attempt to reach these demi plane Florist, florist, florist. Florist, florist, florist. <laughs> Alright. So, you'd definitely find a florist called Push-Up Daisies. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Pushing oh. daisies! As you, okay, uh, see what you did there. As you fucking <laughs> enter in, you would immediately see an extremely burly, strong, and fucking yes. spelt female gnome. Shit. I saw her up. <laughs> She's fucking oh, almost three foot six, just a little bit shy. <laughs> but uh, as she looks at the pair of you, <laughs> what can I do for you? Hi, we're um we're looking for some flowers um. 
I'm not too sure what we should get, honestly. What yeah. varieties do you have? <clears throat> well, we uh, definitely have a good classic of roses, the begonias, the sweet bell, the bleeding hearts. She starts showing all these different flora and fauna that she has amongst her shop. You can tell some of these pots are uh, enormously sized, but all of them very vibrant colors. Some that are mixed very nicely, and others that are just uh, one solid color. Obviously, some people just prefer a full bouquet to that. But you can even see that some are mixed of di different various flowers and vines, others that look like they've been given a little bit of dye in their water so the vines and others give beautiful coloration as they uh, continue to grow and wither and extend around so they match the bouquet of color. Yeah, I'm thinking roses. What about you, Einstrad? Hmm. Do the roses and the bleeding hearts look similar? <laughs> I don't know what a bleeding heart is. I don't know flowers. It's just a fucking heart on a stem. Mm hmm. Oh, those are weird. Oh, this looks really nice. They, they actually match very nicely with the roses. The sun that. It's uh, now in games. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, actually, honestly, that's kind of nice. I like those. Let's get those. <laughs> yes, the bleeding hearts. A full bouquet of just those? Do you have any recommendations of what could go? Well, I usually have the softer pink. Uh, pink roses, fully deformed, as well as a few begonias that are in season. A little bit of a specialty mixture if they get them the full coloration, but I guarantee you they will live just as long as the rest of the bouquet. Of course, that will there do. is always the full potted plant as well. She points over to a few others that are just the bleeding hearts in full bloom. I like I like the idea of the bleeding hearts. It does sound nice. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. Not really a flower guy myself, but you know. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Huh? But we'll do that. She'll uh, get those all made up very nice. Uh, would you like the uh, full works as she points to a couple of displays one that has like just the very basic bouquet cover the other one that is a little more you know noblish a little more colors and then the other one that's like the full blown like you would probably take it to the ball and has like the prismatic ribbon and other such kind of thing with the mixing colors prismatic ribbon you got me there yeah sure let's go all out on. so chill Happily make, put that all together. Very beautiful bouquet. Nicely sorted. And it's very quick, too. You can tell she's done this for years. In Even with, uh, you know, shifting some of the potted plants around, you can see she just quickly, like, scoops them up and sets them aside, for, even for her tiny stature. But it's all nicely made up. And as she uh, says, uh, Ah, one gold. <laughs> I'll just give her five gold. Consider it a tip. Thank you very much. Enjoy. I take what has probably very little flowers in my very big hand. Uh, surprisingly, like, still fills up one of your hands. Like, still dainty in both of them, but. It is a big bouquet. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you just ripped one out. 
somebody really their microphone. AFK, right? <laughs> no. I like, accidentally cat microphone. Please, chewed on please it. don't go back into the room and shit. It's not a bad. <laughs> <laughs> the door's still open. <laughs> the designated PP dimension now, boys. Oh no. no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Open the door to the toilet dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take a shit, Open man. The door. Come on. Get on the floor. Everybody invade me at least don't. Oh, Rosie. Rosie's AFK, right? Uh, yes. Alright, uh, can I ask Millie to borrow that book that was about dimension? I mean, the other planes? Uh, I mean, they're not using it and they've already gone through it, so... Just want to do some uh, research before research. I buy. Yeah. Obviously, you'll be able to look over the dimensional research in other demi planes and greater planes, water, fire, even hmm. further dimensions that you could travel to. I'm basically using this as like a catalog, expecting there to be somewhere in the city that I can buy tuning for. <laughs> be like, hmm, that sounds cool. I want to buy a fork for there. Hmm, that also sounds cool. So, uh, you're just looking for, uh, any particular, any particular planes in, in current perspective that you're looking to have access to or hope to find a tuning fork to, in a way? Somewhere that is, like, safe. Like, isn't gonna be full of monsters and shit that are going to kill me. Uh, so... And isn't made of fire. Uh, the... One of those that immediately catches your eye on that is literally just the plane of banishment, where it's a dull gray atmosphere, but completely devoid of anything dangerous. It's usually safe for any creature that's within. Nah, let's go somewhere interesting. Is there like a plane that's just like a forest with like Feywild? happy creatures in it? Uh, Feywild is a little too dangerous. No, no, Fey no. Feywild nah, is definitely. Fine. Well, I mean, going by the description of a forest, I mean, I was going to say Feywild is definitely fitting that description. Like somewhere safe with, like, food that you could, like, live. <laughs> yeah, Feywild. So, well, we'll get to Feywild for sure, but, um... Safe, I said. <laughs> yeah, it's a safer. Uh, go ahead and roll me an investigation as you kind of start digging through. There's... There's quite a few planes there, you know, like you can tell. Junus Lucius has I, done a, I will yeah. inspire you to find a good one. Oh for no. God's sake. What's your inspiration? A D12. Okay, you could literally double this right now. Oh no. Nah. Yeah, Feywild seems pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, Feywild no. is looking pretty juicy right now. Um there's a uh, a close sister demi plane for the uh, lesser god of partying, eating, and drinking. Mm. <laughs> that one cool. Okay, I'm gonna make notes and wait for someone that has access to the horde to come back so I can take some money. We're coming home. Or, you know, Brad could do it for me. On the way back, boys. <laughs> On my way to slide into your DM. <laughs> I didn't actually take my money back from you, so if no one else did, you still have that 900 I uh, assume Miski took it from me when she KO'd me. So. Sorry, what? Did you did you take Brad's money back off me? Or did you just knock me out and leave No, me? I just knocked you out. You have all of his stuff still. Oh, actually, Brad, Unless I still Notluff have it. has taken it from you. You don't have any more on you. Like, I feel like these magical tuning fork things are going to be pretty expensive. Again, you still have all of my money. Yeah, you you can have it. But I mean, like, you don't have, like, more in your room, right? You just okay. carry all of your material belongings on. No, we have a, we have a big treasure hoard that Rexia likes to sit on. Can I borrow some of that? Probably. Which one's Raxiel? 
The big fairy dragon. Oh. <laughs> big fairy dragon person. Greetings. Hello. You're Carlisle? Carlisle. Nice to meet you, I guess. I saw what happened briefly and then went back downstairs. But, you know, I guess things happen. With the whole poop thing. So, to prevent that from happening, I'm going to buy a few things. But, apparently you're the one with all the money. I have a fair, fair amount of money. Your friend Bradimir said I could borrow some. Is that cool? I would have to write up an IOU. You can write? <laughs> yeah. Your hands are like the size of my body. Yeah, he pulls out a, a fresh ledger. So, uh, what would you want the interest rate to be? I start at 25%. Jesus. Oh my god, Jesus fuck. Yes. I would, I would I want it, it to be like zero. Hmm. That would need, for, need an, inquire, an immediate requirement of uh, paid back in one day. This is for the greater good of the entire ship. And this is for the greater good of my heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for the captain to get back. Let's wait, let's wait for that. <laughs> We've lost a good customer. That's okay. I mean, there's always other interest rates. Shop around. Wait, wait. You give me. 5,000 gold for this, and I'll hold up a diamond. It is definitely not worth 5,000 gold, but it is a diamond. Hmm. I'll give you the change as well. <laughs> so, yeah, he looks at me like you. I'll write out an IOU with no interest rate, and then obviously on exchange of change, you will be void of your IOU after. And he'll Sounds good. Write out the IOU, give you the five thousand, and take the time. <laughs> it, it's only a three hundred gold. <laughs> yeah, he, he's fine with that. Gems are gems. Well, anyone want to come shopping? Oh, I also. Need diamond dust apparently, because I never read Great Restoration. <laughs> I've got some diamonds if you want to like sit here punching them until they break. Have you seen my arms? Got magical weapons? No. I have, I could I have just a whip. I'm gonna whip the diamonds. Would you <laughs> like diamond. me to buy yeah. some diamond dust while I'm out, or do you want to? You're not like wanted, are you? Oh, oh, not in this place. Okay, oh, yeah. hopefully not, because I got a decent reputation here. Hard to believe, but go on. I've I've worked with the sheriffs here for quite a while, doing bounties and. But yes, you want to come buy some diamond powder? Yep. Away. I want to find a magical shop of magical things. I also bring the book that has the dimensions, planes. All right. At the same, same time, you guys head up. Taurath and uh, Iron Strike will come on back and see you. Mirrorless waiting, obviously keeping out of sight. You also see this very rotund looking woman start walking on board behind you. <clears throat> very portly, heavy looking, fat human. What the fuck? Can I help you? At this point, she, uh. She looks to you and you hear Junus Lucius's voice. No, that's <laughs> fine, I've got my shopping done. Oh, hi, oh. Junus. Uh, with that, the seeming drops. You 
See Welcome the, back, Junius. The, the arms unfold from where the fat rolls were, and he lets out <laughs> six arms hang. We managed to rescue Iron Strides' mother. It was actually a pretty nice couple of days. As he looks over and sees Miro. A, pl a pleasure to meet a fellow Iron. I must say, the city is at least has its uses, but I do not agree with their ethics on keeping us. I do not agree with them either. So, I do have to say, some of the museums were very useful for my pieces that I needed. to her the flowers. I thought you would like these. They're beautiful. I haven't had a chance to see flowers in so long. Thank you. After what must have been an eternity kept somewhere like that, it is nice to see some life like this, I assume. It's definitely reinvigorating. did lose my temper quite a bit with the Reckoner, but oh no. Chase had some excellent points and helped us work some things out while we were hiding. Chase spoke. He is quite a silent one. He's very wise, but doesn't seem to speak. Well, unless absolutely needed to. That seems reasonable. I hope at least you and Reckoner were able to make up for that argument, perhaps. It will be a rocky road. I think we might get there. I would be happy to see that. She told me of all the things that you did to your rescues. Even you being picked up from the gold rose. It has been a long road that we've traveled. Keep you safe on this ship. As well, I have other things to discuss with you. said you could not, well, did not think that you had saved me. And I might understand that somewhat. My memories are still not all there. I only remember fragments. I just want to be the best thing that you made.
Not shell hug, mother. Shell hug me back tight. <laughs> the ironing. Oh. <laughs> All right, so, uh, and Misky, as you can see, Merger has familiarized himself quite a bit. Him and Stratosphere have uh, actually drawn up the full schematics of the engine inside and out after his uh, thorough stay inside the core for a moment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's useful. Ahem. But, uh, Damn. he, uh, already has some of the other minerals that he was using the other time, already regrowing on his body. Ooh. As he just kind of like back for the. Uh, I'm going to just go look at the sky for a while. It's been too long. Enjoy yourself. Uh, so. Um, what oh Carlisle and Brett I'm here to be buying. I want to head to Magic Shop. I should probably know where it is, considering I live around here. I want to go to a blacksmith and ask him to smash the shit out of one of my diamonds. You, know, you can probably buy that at the Magic Shop. Well, I've already got diamonds that I don't need. You're going to make a mess doing it like that. <laughs> so a better the way. I'm going to lose like half of it. The wind. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what some of my tools are for. Diamond dust is basically just really little diamonds. Also, I can't dust. Be that daft, Kenny. I am not a clever. <laughs> so you say that before the diamond dust, you hear Aaron probably saying that from a hawking earpiece. He actually can't cast a spell because it's 98 gold worth of diamond dust because the rest blew away in the wind. Oh no. <laughs> well, I, I go to a magic shop and want to ask if they have tuning forks that are attuned to planes. So, as you uh, get to the magic shop and obviously asking about the uh, planner travel kind you could see that the uh, the smaller uh, fellow looks at you points over to the larger lug the, the goliath Yeah, we have uh, a bunch of them. Uh, what are you looking for in particular? Fire? Water? Uh, how much are they each? Are they... Is it specific per... Per plane? Uh, it's usually a little more expensive depending on the plane that you're going to. Alright. This plane. How much? I mean, returning here. Measly. Yeah. 200 gold. Alright, I'll get one of them. Alright. Goes and starts to set out the different magical items. But what else do you need first? What is the most fucked up plane you've ever heard? Like, if I banish someone here, they would most likely get fucking eaten by some within 20 seconds. Pandemonium. One of those, thanks. Uh, that one will probably cost you a good thousand gold. It's a real dangerous piece. It's hard enough to get the magic to work right. All right. Um, I flipped through the book. This one here about the the god of partying or some shit. Uh, that's a good one. 
That one's only 400. All right. Just a popular demand. And you got any like basic ass planes that are like pretty similar to this one? Not very dangerous. You can see, he starts flipping through the catalog. Eh. I got one that might work. Far distant planet. The person who gave it to me said that the sun would probably look bright pink. All right. I'll give you that one at a discount. He's 50 gold. I don't know how trustworthy it is. Uh, that one's your own risk. So I asked you for a nice, safe one, and you say it probably won't work. Oh, no, Chief's it'll cheap. Work. I'm just saying that uh, a pink sun's not really appearing. I like, yeah, appealing. It's cheap, cheap. I'll look into it. I think that's about it. The uh, pandemonium one, I assume. No, I'll take that. All right, then. Don't uh, lose it. So we only got three of them. Damn. Uh, so RPG material standard. plane, material plane, pandemonium, the god one, which I don't know what it's called. The god of I've got a name for that. Party realm. Party realm. Also. You don't happen to have one for uh, the plane of battle? Plane of battle? Oh, the Bahala kind, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I assume Millie told me what it was. I'll pull it up in the book if it's in there. He, uh. He'll look at you like there's something fucking wrong with you of why you would want to go there. Hey, you didn't even look at me that bad when I asked for the pandemonium. Like, pandem well, obviously you described, like, sending someone to pandemonium to kill them, but, like, yeah. opening up a realm of pure battle, I was like, what? Don't um, ask. Have you got one? Uh... Sure, if I'm really allowed to sell you that one now. Um, I'm spending a lot of money here. Who else is gonna buy it? I. I can roll me a persuasion. As he, uh, it's kind of like, like a couple of. Oh, I just realized what he doesn't want to sell. Because he knows he's gonna get in trouble for selling it. What is a persuasion, you say? No plus zero could do with a bit of a oh that's actually pretty good don't even need an inspiration so with that he uh he does kind of like him I uh and you can tell he thinks about it pretty heavily for a moment I'll take a look, but I think I might be out of stock, friend. All right. He'll uh, immediately head on back, and you can hear him shuffling some boxes around. <laughs> yeah, you just hear him bust out the back wall and fucking run away. As he, uh, as he comes on, come on back, he, uh, you can tell he's a little nervous, but, uh, as he just looks at me like, sorry, friend, I, uh, I'm all out of them, unfortunately, uh, that item is pretty popular with, uh, some of the mages for the Sultanate's castle. Oh, that's weird. Um, you know, they, 
This is always something that I'm trying to crack down on, probably. And don't really want anyone probably fucking with that kind of realm in the city, maybe. Mm, sounds alright. Don't have any uh, realms that you're a favorite, favorite of, or anything, anything you would recommend. Any planes? Well, I don't really travel, but uh, a couple of pretty popular ones. There's, uh, especially amongst the nobles. He pulls out a list. But... Uh, I don't know how you feel about succubi, but I would definitely uh, recommend a protection from good and evil and don't make a contract while you're there. A succubus plane. Well, it's the dimension of hell where they reside. I'll pass. <laughs> and what? let's see. Aside from that, uh, the goddess of love is... Well, her dominion is actually a pretty popular one, but you might want to be careful. You might uh, end up getting married faster than you would think after having a little bit of fun. I really should have asked Melorin if she had any plans in mind. Well, I guess that'll be it then. But, uh, I've been writing it down, so... Is a total of one thousand six hundred and fifty gold. All right. Unless, of course, someone has a way to contact Miller and then ask if she wants any plans. Shred. Brad, who has the phone? Yeah, I don't know that. I'm getting my diamonds crushed. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that like a code or...? Yeah, it's a code for cock and ball torture. Cock and ball torture. Here we go. Getting my diamonds absolutely pulverized. On a side note, Carl, I would definitely say the shopkeep, after you inquiring about the tuning fork for that realm for battle, definitely seemed pretty shifty afterwards and really fucking nervous. <laughs> Hmm. I'm so just gonna keep looking around in the shop for like another 10 minutes or so okay. while I peruse the indie beyond for items. Uh, go ahead and roll me investigation real quick, actually. Hmm, my investigation is horrible. Mm -hmm. Actually, plus two, that's more than most of my skills. Alright, so ironically. As you uh, peruse the store, you recognize the name on one of the tuning forks and the symbol. Mm -hmm. It's in one of the front displays. It's the Realm of Battle. Oh, hey, Carlisle, I just got my diamonds crushed. How you doing? <laughs> Just buying things, you know. Did it all go well? Pretty much. Um, there's one thing I couldn't get, but it's in stock. Well, I mean, is it too expensive. Are you talking about that, like in front of the shopkeep? While you're in there? No, we're like outside looking at the. Uh, I just wanted to double check. Hmm. Uh... I mean, it would be pretty useful if we had it. But he seems pretty fishy about selling it. Almost too fishy, you know? Like he knows what's going on. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna steal from this guy. But we could. You could. I could. Famous pipe. How do I find a fucking item? Rails magic items, thank you. Hmm. You're gonna go and 
trying. Uh, maybe we should try the, the legal way, I guess. Alright. Alright, I'll, uh, play the battle, right? What the fuck? Okay, there's an amulet that lets you just plane shift. Okay, I, I go into the shop. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. I mean, I'm just gonna... May maybe don't, like, go in straight away and ask for the thing that I was asking for, because they're gonna not be very... and just assume it has something to do with me instantly. And I, like, don't want to get in trouble here. Not smart enough to figure this out. Let's go back to the ship. Oh no, alright. Okay, I leave the shop. If I knew any of your abilities, I would come up with a plan, but I've seen you use like two spells. All of my plans involve us doing it successfully and then running away because we're now outlaws. Do we just do exactly what we did with Velas teleport in, break it open, take it, teleport out? I mean, could. On a side note, the shop is, is called the Traveling Tombs. Nice. Is it like I mean, in, a, in a popular street? Is it. How big's this shop? Uh, this shop? Little hole in the wall. Obviously, specializing in planner tuning forks and travel, as well as information on some of these realms as much as it has and can share. But it is on one of the main streets near the guardhouses. And you can tell it's mostly just to crack down on making sure that no one else who's uh, <sighs> grabbing travel forks that are not allowed to have those travel forks. Okay. See, here's the thing, though. We had the break into this place and steal his tuning fork, or we have to break into this alternate. It seems infinitely easier. Okay, I assume I assume we're saying this a few streets away. Oh yes, as we we're going back to the ship. We're not doing that now. Uh, we make I pay the sixteen fifty and we leave and go to the ship. Um, honestly, yeah, if they. If they haven't taken it off display already, it'd be much easier. But I can only bring us to that plane, and we have no idea where he, this person is on that plane. It's one step closer th than not being on the steam plane. Well, I did sign up for a pirate ship. You did sign up for a pirate ship. Alright, what do you guys think? Elaborate heist? What what the hell are you doing now? Hmm? So, to teleport to other planes, I need a tuning fork. And we actually found one for the plane of battle where what's his face is. You see, Carlisle asked. But they wouldn't us. sell it to us. He wouldn't sell it. So now it'd be we're suspicious if with the rest of us were to try and buy it. So, do we try an elaborate heist? Well. I mean, so why did they stop you from buying it? Well, they said it was very... Uh, a favorite item among the mages of the officials. What he actually said was that there were none in stock, but we could see one on the display. Yes, he didn't want to sell it, because apparently and, the officials were a big fans. Light. So this, there is something going on. Why didn't you have Brad try to buy it? I mean, look at his face. Nobody can say no to that face. Well, you see, I was getting my diamonds crushed. <laughs> they have a place that does that here? That's, That's odd. strange. Don't want to hmm. talk about it. <laughs> look, I just... <sighs> the one that you're after, they said the plane of battle, correct? Yep. Yeah, it's, a, it's the one you told me about. In the book. Okay, two I things. Him the book. One, we were told we're after the demi plane of battle. Slight difference. Oh, the, is there an actual plane of battle? Two, from our uh, from our research, and I 
motion towards the other Millies. There are quite a few demi-planes of battle, so it might not even be the one we're after. Oh. But he was very specific about us not having it. What's well, yes, the it's probably between... a very dangerous place. An entire plane dedicated to battle sounds a lot better. No, he, he sold me this, which is way more dangerous, apparently. Why would you a buy fork? that? Yeah, it's a fork that can teleport people into pandemonium. Which, according to this book, is pretty fucked up. What? Why would, why would well, you Well, that, that sounds pretty awful. The difference is that you wouldn't be able to teleport them, but you could plane shift into it with it. No, no, you can force yeah. other people to plane yeah, shift. plane shift can be used defensively. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, you could force them into uh, pandemonium. It it's just difficult. is a much higher level spell than banishment. It's very difficult, yeah. but it's possible. If they roll poorly. And if so, you roll well. Yeah, I have to hit and then they have, have to save. You have to hit them. It, well, you have to touch them. Yeah. Anyways. So, I mean, I think you're overlooking the point of this. Is that <clears throat> if they're specifically trying to prevent it and talking about how officials only want them, especially official mages, this, it might actually just probably be the platooning fork we're after. I don't really think it's that difficult. Even if there are multiple versions of the same plane, it seems oddly suspicious that they would be guarding this one specifically from public use. They could be... Uh, the one we saw might be the plane we're not after. So regardless, we will still need to go after a specific one that is in the castle. I mean, we could find out by, like, getting that tuning fork and going there. I mean, considering what I've heard so far about this plane of battle, I'd rather not guess wrong, considering we're going to start to go slowly insane from not being on the material plane. What? Yeah. What? Oh, shit. Okay. pipe in from behind us. Yeah. Most planes and even demi planes in high concentration usually pertain to arcane energies that overflow into your soul and make you derived or become a denizen of that plane. Uh, That's curious. really cool. Alright. Just like how any normal human being or item usually can't survive in the pure negative energy plane or the pure light energy plane. Hmm. Why didn't he tell me about that one? I'm sorry, Junius. I deleted your pants. I didn't think you were coming back. My pants are still on me. No, the... the Zenyatta pants. <laughs> so... It's probably not the one we want, but I now have tuning forks that can get us out of that plane once we get there. Very good, very good. You do have one for... here, right? Yes. I made sure. Okay, That's sure. why I spent the entire day yesterday in your your dimension and couldn't get out. I was testing right. if I needed one. So, as it stands right now, this guy may or may not have even had a fucking tuning fork. Who the hell even knows? Mm -hmm. And he might not even have the right one. So I move that it's probably, despite the increased security, might actually be our best option to invade the undercarriage of the palace itself that we have the teleportation thing to and fuck it up because they might have the rod there and if they don't we might get more information to be able to narrow down our search I'm willing to try this All right. sounds like a plan I am prepared for that uh, I just would like to put forward uh, different spells would allow one to travel to a demi plane without needing uh, any kind of tuning fork. Case in point, the demi plane I created, the same spell could be used to access a different demi plane as long as I know where it is I'm going. Do you need like a map or uh, some smelling salts? <laughs> Crack. I need the meth. a better Bad understanding salts. of the plane. Uh, the nature and contents, really. Battle? So, and... Encyclopedia. Uh, 
Well, not quite as precise as an encyclopedia, but sure. I, I need to have an understanding of where I'm trying to go to open a door to it. Well, perhaps we will find something out of that in the castle. That sounds like the plan. That's you can get us for. in. I can get us out. So we don't go insane. This will be directly underneath the palace, though, so I think we're going to have to continue our policy of no witness. It's my favorite policy. I mean... Oh, it's on top. Uh, um, we might get fucked up really bad. We might have to start popping off the dust of dryness. You, you can make Carlisle breathe underwater, right? Mm -hmm. This one might get really fucking messy. Alright. How are we getting into the palace? <clears throat> Teleporting to their magic circle that we know about. How many people can we take with that? Everyone that can get through it. We've got a lot of uh, robots here with weapons. If it's going to be that them. bloody. Well, that sounds like a great idea. We also intend to extract everyone, and that'll be a little bit more difficult with the, the more people that we take. True. How are we planning on extracting? <laughs> like, like conventional said, teleport? As, as many people that can run through the circle as we can, or conventional teleportation, or mm. plan C. Through the we, front door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the front door is definitely the worst option, as we probably have to immediately leave the city, even if we could manage to leave. Yeah. Should well, we have the Elbreth uh, leave dock and... Yes, I was going to say, if we don't need it, if we don't need to remain here, we can send the ship away. Yes. Let me just teleport you. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Is it possible that that basement is warded against teleport teleportation leaving, or is it only in? Uh, it's probably warded against leaving, too, but... But it's likely that if we are there, we can disable that. Or if we yes. go back to where I there's will is. be more prepared for magical hindrances this time. That I mean, would be appreciated. No Should hand I... access, more just dispelling it outright. Do you want me to prepare for that as well? I mean, Probably unless we're idea. going right now. We should go tomorrow, so we're ready. Yeah. I can also prepare to spell magic. Given that I already uh, exhausted a bit of my energy opening that demi-plane a second time, <laughs> I would like to rest first. Oh, and also on top of that, if you happen to have your energy at the time, you could just put all the people we rescue into the demi-plane. I could, yes. Yeah, I know, but that's a theoretical. We get a lot of people. The space is fairly limited. Yeah, you know, real question, though. What happens if you go into the demi plane and shut the door? Can you get out? Uh, Me? Yeah. No. God, that's awful. Uh, I you would need to. There? Uh, it's possible. Uh, I need to get some, uh, plants, I think. <laughs> Have a whole, like, mini ecosystem inside your demi-plane? I've been in here for 600 years. Well, yeah, something... I mean, for the purpose... For the purposes I intend to use them for, uh, the breathable air within them should be enough as it will also replenish whenever I open the door. Uh, but for an extended... Uh, living creatures staying for an extended period of time will probably need uh, more. Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. Anyways. So as the plan stands, we're going to go blindly raid the undercarriage of the palace in the hopes that we uncover more information about the fucking plane. We've had worse plans. We've definitely and we loot as we go. Well, it sounds like the plan is just sack all the books instead of all the wine this time. We're taking the wine for Hey, it'll both fit in the hole. The hole is bottomless. I'll prepare I my uh, liquor. dispel magic so we don't get exploded, hopefully. Alright, and before we go, I want 
I want some of you to shoot me with your single targeted spells. And I will eat them. Okay! I, is my gun a single targeted wait, spell? Wait, wait, wait. I could have done this all day inside the, um, the, the room, if you asked me to. Is what you have on the light a single target? That. No. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay. What kind of spells, fam? Single target. You want high level ones? Oh, that is fine. Eight level yeah, light. Okay. Do you, do you do that? Yes, I cast eight level light. I eat on it. You. Yeah. Oh, you want to see some real value right here? One sec. I think if you said level lightning bolt, that's not really one target though. That's just one line. You you literally have not seen value in spell slots like I'm about to show you before. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, okay, yeah. So using Conjure Woodland to be. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh no, when I said that. I can summon how many pixies? Oh god. I can summon eight pixies that can all cast Polymorph, which is a fourth level spell. Oh my god. <laughs> or you could summon fucking like 32 giant badgers. <laughs> no, woodland beings is like specific for like fey creatures. Oh, okay. Giant fey badgers. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so down for a giant fey badger. <laughs> a giant badger on the fey. Alright, so we spend. A day leaving port and then go. Is there any other prep we need to do? We should probably leave port when we're gonna go because you know, otherwise, we'd have to take a skiff back and probably leave it here. If any of the other forged would like to come, would you be able to put them in your hole thing? Um, it's pretty empty right now. The only thing it is to have a book that know how to steal from that giant, so I mean. There's plenty of space, they want to hang out there. I'm back. Do you need more spells? Um. Yeah, hit me up with like two more. Seventh level blight. Okay. Sixth level blight. Okay, that's enough. Okay. We could have them just in case we need reinforcements. I mean, if we bring Patriot, I don't really think he's going to want to just be reinforcements. <laughs> this is true. I mean, I'm not going to stop him. That's one of the rules of our crew, you know? Do what Honor! you want. Make everybody else, you know, in horrible danger. But at the same time, I would like for him to protect Mother. <laughs> honor. <laughs> this will be the greatest honor. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll ask Patriot if he could protect Mother. He will gladly do so. You yes. have my deepest gratitude. Protecting my fellow compatriots are the utmost honor and respect out of everything in the field. Even more so than stabbing someone in their sleep in the back and stabbing them. <laughs> in their sleep in the back. In their sleep in the back <laughs> stabbing them. It's a double whammy. They're sleeping on their back, he has to wait for them to roll over. <laughs> oh no. Now he rolls them over, slowly he just step them in the back. through the front of their back. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I will ask the others if they would like to come, and I will get a list for you to tell Rath. Alright, sure. Oh, the boys are back Alright, prepare for a technical insertion. Each of the Forged Boys, including Reckoner, I'll ask it, who would like to come. A show of hands. Did Junius build his own study cage? What is that? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the filthy fleshies out. <laughs> 
Flushies get out. <laughs> After seeing control being disheveled, disorganized, and not put back alphabetically and, you know, in metric. No, oh, I still window. have his plain book. Yeah, there's like some wooden doors and then there's one bit of marble wall. I want you to do to hunt you down to the ends of the earth to get that book back. It has like a tracking chip in it. <laughs> it's called no, there's no chip, you can sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excuse you, we millions are meticulous and love a good ordering system. But, yes. Not my yeah. fault someone else decided to go through looking for books on planes. Call all shifts. Reckoner, Chase, Ace, 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 Four, Monolith, and Nashu. Definitely happily get in the portable hall as you undertake these plans. I'm surprised that you would add the adjective happily, like, I will happily get into this and avoid. <laughs> uh, it's rescuing your mom. It would be my pleasure. They don't need to breathe either, so it's not exactly uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, if I didn't need to eat or breathe, I'd still be very uncomfortable in that. Awesome. I just feel like they could just sit there chatting with each other while they wait. That's literally what they're gonna do. And with Chase, you can tell he's gonna be the secret boy. The secret boy. <gasps> secret age man. He's eating up your words. Heading out to the the planes, Raxiel, give a wave, Korf. Korf and Merlothal will warn for you to be extremely careful while they merger again. Looks to you, Miss Gia. Don't worry. I'll make sure he doesn't break it again. <laughs> Thank you. Wishing you good luck on this is uh, a fair bit of nervousness as they travel straight into the heart of the enemy's area as well as looking for these ways to travel to the demi plane as well. God damn, we're all gonna <sighs> die. Yeah, I know. We died so together. Time. We'll be <laughs> fine. Onward! We didn't die to the volcano dragon. I'm sure, we won't die this time. We okay, we had the volcano yes. dragon. Yes. Yes. We released an angel. And I mean, we did fight the brine queen on our own. For the most part. Yes, no, I don't feel like she was that bad. Yeah, guys, we're basically gods. I... Yeah, that's what? definitely you know not the prelude to something really bad happening. Oh yeah. no. It's so nothing. big and I'm so small and it's black. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh. Shit. I'm that's so glad great. that's gonna be on YouTube forever. Yeah, God damn button. it. Can I one Twitch viewer click that? Hey, hey Twitch. Ooh. What's that? I meant that I had no vision, but there we go, okay. There we are. If it's less black, oh my yeah. god. What are those wasps geese? doing in here? Oh, those are space wasps. Oh, also, before I forget, since we were just teleporting, did I get my movable rod back from my <laughs> boy Strato? Oh, uh, you did. Yeah, you did. Okay. So I have one of the full rod back, that's good. <laughs> Since the other one was eaten. <laughs> Only one. But 
as you do enter in. Mm -hmm. You see the long marble hall that you had said before. The one that definitely wasn't described to Billion because scrying wards and everything. Oh yes, of course. But uh, it is very as, long. As you uh, clearly look ahead <clears throat> in this hall, you see globes, glass globes, with multiple creatures scurrying around. I'm gonna be honest, I think this is probably some kind of trap. But yeah. how would they know we're coming? No, I mean, the glass globe's full, whatever the hell that is. According to the departed friend Victor, all we need is the amulet to get past the security. Oh, oh, okay. the amulet. Does that work for one of us or for all of us? There's well, only one amulet. It should work for all of us, if that would be the ruling for I sure hope it do. I will. I would assume if he had, if he was to lead anyone here, that he wouldn't, you know, make another amulet for them. They that's, just that's wouldn't reasonable. be able to leave him. Alright. They'd have to stick with the person who has the amulet, so... I will take up the amulet and hold it out. you hold it up. You can see that the orbs shrink, containing these creatures down even tighter. Oh. I would suggest everyone stays close. <coughs> I hug Papa Iron Straight. <laughs> down the, the end of the hall, especially since you can now move a little more freely. Oh, this map is so laggy. You... Sorry. <laughs> you can hear what sounds like the clash of heavy metals and battle screaming and echoing all the way down from the opposite end. Where you can see... Is that the demi plane of battle right here? Where you can see it I'm... dips off into a rougher hewn stone in the distance. So, who's our, like, uh, stealth scout guy? Uh... Um, definitely not me. Telereth, maybe? That's technically me, I guess, why? Oh, actually, if you go on your own, you're gonna get blown up by these bug things. Yeah, I know. Or you, if you get left behind. <laughs> Alright, everybody in their giant clanky tower, let's start tiptoeing. Nah. <laughs> Where are we heading first? Just shimmy down the hall in my plate. We might just as well just go down the hall first. Just keep going forward. Just keep going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Because we aren't using this as an exit anyway. Alright. Stupid. As you pass by, you can see that these multiple swarms of bugs seem to be fascinatingly drawn to a feed of mana. Ooh. They pool at the bottom. They're constantly fighting over eating the mana. Can I see anything down this hallway? Going down the halls, you will see more halls. We more have hall. others to be I love more halls. It's just more, more hallways. Just doors. Yes. Just doors. Just making sure we aren't woken by people that are literally like staring at him. Like who that? Appearing to seem to have been emptied out, but also. Gua. Gua. Guard. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing there. Don't worry, boys. I kept them in the shadows. That way. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. We can see G U. By the way. Yeah, that's why I'm doing I can see G U A right there. Oh, ah, bam! In case okay. you need to bash them out real quick. I thought it was like, God. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> yeah, so... Uh, See, hold on, there we are. Ta-da! Bunch of cool dudes. Nice. Put in the wall of holding. Yeah. The wall. But, uh... As you do look at them, they seem to be drawn to magic. Oh, uh, Telrath's used his sonar. Yeah, I'm using my bird sonar to look for people on Fort Forge. Alright, so... Uh, starting ahead... You will sense... A large Warforged. A very large Warforged. Like, is it bigger than the one that was with the dragons? Definitely not. It has the altered version, kind of like when you were sensing Victor. Oh. So, it, uh. Hey, Iron Stride. <laughs> Yes. There's something really weird ahead of us. How far ahead? I mean, I think it's through the wall ahead, but it feels like Victor. You know, that freak. But uh, it's really big. That is concerning. And weird. Alright. Well... I brought my medical pack this time, just in case. Oh, that's what that is. It's wondering where your wings went. Hmm. Do you think it is safe for us to continue forward then, or should we deviate? I mean, we can deviate any time we want. It's not like it knows I can tell it's there. True. <coughs> Do I sense any people? Or is it just that one more forge, nobody else? Just that one more forge and no one else. Yeah. And there's not a single soul uh, within five miles other than us. Other than that war forged. That is also disconcerting. Alright then. I guess we should make it to the end of this hall. Then go from there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of health potions in this room too. Yeah, why don't I just get a save? Why don't I save? <laughs> why Josh, I see the auto save icon. Mm -hmm. Do these strange-looking tiles look like pressure plates? Uh, for those, they would look like it a little bit, but it's also the artistic design. Mm hmm. Oh, I should have stepped on bread. Oh, God. <laughs> Carlisle. <laughs> as you were, as you were sta standing there for a moment, you could see that the orb was getting bigger. And a whole shitload of scarabs tried to crawl towards you, Carl. But thankfully, you caught mm. up the good. <laughs> so, Boing. As you enter into this grandiose hall. Oh no. This is one thick map. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm worried that I can't sense people or war force, which means there's just gonna be a nice ton of like undead and beasts. <laughs> oh gross. It's just five hundred dragons. <laughs> These, my, my OP please nerf senses are only on three different types of creatures, so if I can't really anything. Oh, jeez. What the damn hell is that? Center. Holy it shit. Is a In the center of this massive arena, occasionally mm -hmm. portals opening up, and this person with different runic sigil swords killing each one as they continue to come through. Viscerating them, building their blood on the sand as it continues to soak into the earth. I think those portals lead to the plane. It takes notice of you. And beckons you all into the arena with an echoing voice through the hall. No, thank you. You challengers. Come. I must test my perfect form further. Jesus. 
and we will leave off there. Oh, yes, yes. Everything okay. finished and ready. As oh boy, he is the demi planes of battle that seem to be spilling over into this arena. There's also oh. this boy. He's probably been here for who knows how long. If I could tell. This fucking boy. Things if we beat this boy. Then there's just gonna be a constant flow of goons coming in here. Forever. Yeah. yeah. Give Iron Stride the big boy pills. <laughs> <laughs> Do not stab us with the big needle plus. The really big needle. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, let me, let me teach you how to fight. I, I cast Conjure Woodland being summon eight pixies, then all polymorph the party into giant apes. Oh. Okay. See then ape shit. Apes together strong. <laughs> Apes together strong. <laughs> I'm glad we got the backup with us. Yeah, glad yeah. they're in the bag. Don't worry. I assume the first action would be to dump the boys out. To release the I boys. I almost always go first anyway, so I wasn't too worried about keeping them. i leave them there. It's a nice place for them. Okay. How about you like I'm it? finna. Do you like them, the Iron Stride? So, so we're all gonna like he's super really cool. Iron Stride and make Iron Stride 1v1. Dude, him, he's right? got a hair. <laughs> Is, is that the deal? Is it the big 1v1? Yeah, we'll enlarge you, invisible, get some haste, less probably. Some haste, maybe some popcorn. We're gonna yeah. Pacific oh. Rim this bitch. <laughs> Fucking kaijus. Alright, let's put multiple do it. enlargers on you? No. Sadly not. Uh -huh. If somebody else casted it, no. That'd be cool if you could enlarge my enlarged weight. Mm. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> It's, it's so big and I'm so little and it's black. Fucking best line. Oh, fuck me, Dad. I'm gonna have to clip that. I think it will. No! <laughs> you know what? Don't do it. You should make that your, like, a donator sound. <laughs> I should. Oh my god, I should. It's so big and it's so large and it's black. It's black. You're welcome. Ah. On a side note, everyone would get a thousand XP. Yes. Lovely. Congratulations on not dying or releasing the mana scarabs. Oh, okay. Yeah, we remember to do the thing that disables the fucking security. Use. We used our, our, our big boy brains. Yeah. They're, they're a nasty number. <laughs> we got a thousand right? Yep. Just a... yeah. I mean, we didn't really kill anything. We'll stay out of fun. And you bought some flowers? Yeah, I bought some flowers for mom. And they look really cool. traumatic experience in a 30 by 30. I mean, <laughs> I feel like getting XP was worth that. I, I practice my spells all day. I'd poop in a mob. Box again <laughs> just to get some. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know, I would spiritual mop that. that shit again. That's some powerful <laughs> shit to give you that much XP. <laughs> Literal <laughs> shit monster. Oh, so, apologies this guy's blood stains look like wings. That's right. He's, He's been flying played purposely. To hell. Ah. Someone died in fetal. Alright, what killed him? Was it the 8? The 6? It was creepy. I'd say the It eight. was the less than. Uh, I mean, you say it's a less than. I think that's just an upside down 7. Nah, if it was a 7, there'd be a line through it. Well, it's one of them shit 7. Yeah, seven. because 7. It's a shit 7. What are we looking at? A lot of people don't put the line in seven. A lot of people are wrong. Yeah, I agree. They're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, yes. This is I'm gonna go to bed. I'm touching Josh. See so, you. Yeah. Yeah. Night. Night. Expect great Keep combat. Keep a little bit hotter. It's gonna be epic. The most glorious combat. What the fuck? That's not a one. 
You guys brought the fucking army in the army was waiting for you. Seven yen. Also, I, don't... I need to stop. I'm sorry. Don't go before me, Misky. Why? I'm gonna buff you. Look, take one. Okay. Wow, it's so perfectly drawn. I know. Oh, that's amazing. Now to do a seven. <laughs> oh, you're right. It is. It's the number one. He's number one. He's number one. He's I mean, <laughs> it is his top right arm. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, his right hand is his number one arm. Um. Yeah, but his right is usually dominant. Right? Also, I like how he has tusks on his fucking yeah. arm. Yeah. Go it's so that when he thrusts, he hooks in. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hook into that ass. Wait, why are you buffing me? 